I usually will pick a team or a character that represents me. Um, and I, I love Magneto because he is very good in terms of design. Mm. But when you put him against the other four characters that are considered top five or even the other five characters that are considered top six, mm-hmm. there are worlds between Magneto and everybody else. Like there's own and I, I, I did People not bring you here for this downplay, and I did not bring you here for this. I'm for, I'm for real. Like uh, people, <laughs> people could. Um, there, there are Magnetos that are of note throughout Marvel Three Ultimate, but there are. I don't think there are more than three top level Magnetos, three to five in the life of this game and that is crazy ah, like, he does, he does i take, love characters that are like he, that. he, t- he takes some skill he take he does take some skill yeah some real some real skill so, yeah skill i was in this one. so <laughs> I, you're, I you're pushing the ceiling so like you that. are remy martin the down player uh the uh expert opinion here on magneto and doom and Hopefully, give some insight oh, to what I you've seen it. from Phoenix play. Um, there's, def- there's definitely some some Phoenix stuff in here that which uh, needs improving in the set. Yeah, for and sure. I am Spartan Throne. Uh, you're watching my channel. If you are uh, watching this on YouTube, uh, drop a comment down below if you enjoyed this type of content that you see here today. Uh, I do like reading all the comments and answering any questions that you guys have. Uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content, or tell me what you want from any future content that I might be looking to put out there. Uh, shall we get ahead and yeah, learn some like them? Um, do you want to? I like to kind of like lay the groundwork for the matchup, also. Um, like right, Sparty said earlier, um, I'm very conceptual and very analytical, and so like most of the time, I'm not going to talk about individual interactions without talking about what big idea they're anchored to and so like when i think about this matchup this was the first high level matchup that i had to learn was magneto versus wolverine in part because i would only watch fgtv house and it was always champ versus eduardo yeah and so like that and eduardo is also the first top player that i ever played against in real life um, and it was three, a very close three, one him, uh, he came to KIT. And so like, I had to understand this matchup at something close to the level of champ to even be able to, you know, make it and make yeah, it a yeah. thing. Um, and so, yeah, it is so important in this matchup. There's like two things. Magneto first and foremost has to get away at 99 seconds. And there's like. Three options that I think about in 99 seconds, you either jump up back, <laughs> jump yep. up forward, or uh, hold down back, depending on what the assist is from the opponent. Yep. And so like that's something to really pay attention to. And then the other thing is the only way Magneto can make this matchup a thing mm-hmm. is if he has perfect flight patterns and perfect assist calls. And so those are the two things that I would say look out for what happens at 99 seconds. And whenever Magneto gets hit, it is really important to analyze where was the assist and where was he in flight or on the ground. Good points. Uh, Can I just throw in the the plink dashing away at round start? If you have any Mm -hmm. sort of like distance between the two, if they're not button heads, like you can get away from the instant overhead lights with uh, with Wolverine, Uh, plink dash Mm -hmm. back, effective. Uh, But I also like you know when you you do and you sort of like up forwards or you up back uh, dashes Mm -hmm. to then fly and escape. Uh, You can you can also just simply uh, throw in now and then like an air dash back into into a falling mag blast and really cover your mm. approach there especially if you have rocks it's a bit riskier if you've got plasma uh, a bit riskier if you've got missiles mm-hmm. but with rocks like the speed of it with that mag blast covering it's mm-hmm. hard to touch all of that at once uh, especially if it's just an option you're throwing in once in a while does stan jab beat my back dash like well, if i'm hesitant at the beginning if you're you hesitant know, like if i have 
Uh-huh. You'd have to be hesitant by sort of like I'd have to. well four frames. Uh, if you if you dash in that first okay. four frames and I try and jab, you're going to throw the extension of my my light. The the light's going to try and come out, and I'm going to you're going to get you're going to throw that uh, jump light. Mm-hmm. Will probably if you are right next to me, I'll catch the top of your head as you blink dashing away. Um, mm-hmm. But then at that point, you know that you're only throwing in that option now, and then you might be you might be uh, uh, doing like blink dash back into up back, which will be fine versus like the jump light. There's there's, there's so much nuance to the ninety nine. Um, I agree. That's why the fly away option is so valuable, and it's it's it think it's it's what you do yeah. see Inkla do here for a lot of the matches. If I recall Do correctly. you feel advantage or disadvantage at 99 seconds against Magneto, or do you feel like it's a coin toss? As a Wolverine, um, I'd, I'd never feel really at disadvantage per se, uh, because I don't feel like I'm ever going to get hit by Magneto, because his stand light and his crouch light hit in such particular positions that yeah. the only way I lose 99 as Wolverine is if I make a massive, huge dive kick and whiff everything and he's in a position to hit me or punish that. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. never going to lose it. I'm going to lose the opportunity to get a hit or keep pressure up, yeah. but I can I can win maybe 30 to 40% of the time if I guess right. Uh, sometimes you guess right and the position's just a little bit out or the assist catches, um, uh-huh. and maybe it gets scrappy, but I like scrappy. That's, that's partly a win for me. <laughs> just like for Magneto, escaping the 99 is a win for him, even though he's not going to hit. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah it's, okay. it's not it's not a bad thing, but it's uh, it's certainly like you know thirty four percent percent of the time I'm happy if I'm c- getting some contact with I, I like to get close. Okay, cool. All right, you ready to start? We're ready to start. Let's do it. Okay, that was good. That was a good ninety nine seconds and a good angle. On the come down. On the top of the head. Yeah, he, he does that a few times with the jump S coming down. It's it's faster than the mag blast, the falling mag blast, and it ca- catches me off yeah. guard now and then, mixing it in. Nice option. Yeah, and it it just hits in a different place too. So mm. yeah. Hmm. Now we, we we got a TAC but didn't finish there. So Wolverine's alive still, and I get to snap whilst he's not got the five bars. Uh, yeah. Get the hard tag, but it's sort of. You know, it's obvious. You, you know when they're coming, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, nice. Okay. To be honest, I don't even know why. Okay. I like that. That was a okay incoming. Rocks, man. Rocks and Magneto. That's I. I love. I used to play Rocks like a large part of the time to where a lot of people thought I was like a mainly rocks player. Yeah, rocks People player. don't know oh, no. that assist is, is good with Magneto when you're good with the assist. Yeah. yeah oh. Absolutely. Now we've got we got Phoenix here and he, he's he's spent five. Uh, so he's got his five and he's spent X Factor yeah. one. No I didn't of course I didn't. Mm-hmm. Oh guess the hit here. But you, oh d- was d- that was that feathers? Is that why they messed up? It is feathers, yeah. So it's 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 the matter okay. of you you can't do standard confirms with her. Once she's in dark, huh. like you, you can't do Urex Factor One like stuff. When from normal gene, you have to adapt. Uh, Did not know that. I think I think the issue here is potentially you got the five bars and popped uh, Phoenix, and then spent the X instead of potentially getting it out. Um, not sure what he thought was going to happen there with the spell, but yeah, it's. Uh, mm. I think it's a little bit of the mental stack with Phoenix when play Inkler's ball. playing her. Seems to be just like like really piled up because he's he's still trying to think so much about what he's doing with her. Yeah, and you point this out later in the set, but like there's some there was a point where you said something to the effect of I think Inkla is learning Phoenix in real time as opposed to having researched the strategy. Yeah. Um, and that again something from my era like. For people who weren't around during FGTV time, they would stream like 18 hours a day. (laughs) And a large chunk of it was champ in practice mode, talking about strategy and figuring out what works in this interaction. When does Mm -hmm. Crouch Light, when should I do S on incoming versus when I should dash up with Phoenix? When should I fight with her versus when should I hard tag? Mm -hmm. How do I hard tag? Like all these little things. And this is in part why I have not 
taken the leap with Phoenix because like that's how that feels really important. Like I don't know of another character where I don't feel comfortable picking them without yeah. having done research. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a necessary part of being a Phoenix player. Absolutely. Uh, there's so many moments like you just described just those two there were do i press or do i not what button do i do that with uh do i spend bar here with her and rely on the x factor to build it back and then and then worry about like just normal dark phoenix later is enough to take care of this team uh and i think Inkler's sort of like bashing his head against the wall like i was back in the day when there's there's options out there to just steal tech, even without the understanding behind it, just <laughs> steal the tech and mimic it for now, and learn the understanding yeah. whilst using that yeah. tech later. Uh, <laughs> but it's a lot of things. I think I think one of Inkler's biggest things is he keeps getting his, his Phoenix popped at super jump height, and then not mm. knowing what to okay. do to make like that an offensive opportunity for him. He's always blocking. He's having to wait. Like he'll just do like a falling s or something to that effect maybe a fireball mm -hmm. but he's not making an opportunity out of it and when he does he's then pausing to wait and make sure he doesn't get hit by something else whereas ryan lv or f champ or like noel will make that opportunity two mix-ups three mix-ups pressure that you can't stop yeah. immediately unless there is a real x-factor threat um like yeah. inval, inval super or counter super or something to that effect like waiting for them yeah, uh, and I'm I'm gonna take a moment to soapbox a little bit as a, a boomer of Marvel. Like two things that I hate about the rhetoric around Virgil and Phoenix is that like the game is just playing for the person. Yeah, like Dark Phoenix clearly broken, very very broken, best in the game. But if best the best in the game but if you don't know what you're doing if you don't know the strategy you a won't get dark phoenix and b if you get her and you don't know what to do you're not gonna win and we will see mm -hmm. that proven over and over throughout this set sure. and not to shit on inkler or anything like that but just like from an analysis standpoint phoenix is you can't just pick her. You will not win if you just pick that character. Yep. You got to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. You sort of see it. You don't. You, you don't see like things like that in this. It's why you do see things like that in the set. But one thing that's recently come up for Inkler is uh, at versus fighting in August. Uh, he lost mm -hmm. a doppel ghost. 3-2, mm -hmm. really close set, had Phoenix several times, and timeouts mm -hmm. became an issue in the set. I think there were two timeouts out of the three games that he lost there to lose that set. Two of them, I think, were timeouts, and he just played a first to 10 right before this against Doppel again, and lost a uh -huh. game to, right, okay, time is short, health is a concern, what do I do? And then it's the, it's the game plan and the strategy that's lacking, and that uncertainty that causes... I'm not going to pick one of these two options. Clearly, I'm kind of going to end up trying both and failing in like straight yeah. between those two decisions because it's not. It's again, this game is very much you need a clear strategy and you need to execute and stick to it unless yeah. there's a decision that you have to make that changes that for you rather than a snap moment where you just panic and choose to do something else right. to alleviate pressure. Uh, it's got to be strategized beforehand, and again, that's experience, but it's also research. And I think, including in practice, in, yeah, yeah, Inkler in so far in choosing this team uh, is using her and learning her, but not not actually going out of out of his way to educate himself. Uh, yeah, on, with the resources available out there, fourteen years of Phoenix. But I will, you know, I will give it that it's difficult. Like, again, like I'm I'm in the same situation as Inkla, except I just didn't pick the character. The reason I don't pick her is because it is overwhelming to think about like I play Noel often. Any event that I'm at, me and Noel play, me and Noel will play first to twenties, thirties, forties on Parsec because the strategy evolves so over those full set like it just keeps going deeper and deeper and like 
it's a lot. Like when I play against Noel, there are times in the set where I'm like, I literally don't know what he changed, but he is just outplaying me specifically with Gene. Yeah. And it makes me have to learn a whole new part of the game. Mm -hmm. And I am a person that is very reverent towards specialist and skill. And so I'm like, I would never touch Phoenix if I can't play like Noel. I would yeah. never disrespect Gene if I can't play like Champ. <laughs> and so like it's it is. And it's a necessity for this character. Yeah. And I just like want yeah. I, I want to speak on that like while I have this platform. Sure. Because a lot of people think that she's just mashy, broken, free, whatever. And you know, y'all yeah. know I don't y'all know I don't feel the same way about Virgil that a lot of people feel about Virgil, but Virgil is more like you actually gotta get Phoenix. Virgil gonna drop in this shit and he just gonna run them up. You like you actually got to earn Phoenix, and so like I don't know, it just just something to think about. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Should we uh, right. crack on match yeah. two, round two? Let's see if they do some push blocking. Sometimes I, I just know they're trying to escape. Probably gonna push. I think I think the second one is is maybe possibly one of the matches that disgusted me most. I like that. Uh, that yeah, the the back dash mag blast like you were just talking about that was mm. good at the beginning it, it covers such a good angle and you can also wait to see what i'm doing uh before you call yeah. assists and before you because you can he hangs in there for so long the air dash mag blast uh -huh. back you, you can just wait before you do the mag blast it's crazy so so he, he he hits me here he spends the bar and then gets me on a reset <laughs> this was when I uh, started paying attention to the match. I was like, okay, he did the little Remy Martin. I said, okay, look, incoming. <laughs> he tried a little Remy Martin on him. Dorm is oddly bodied for mm -hmm. this uh, uh, infinite, and so I think he drops it here. He, he does, but he, he misjudged the height. He was way too high. Gets right. the kill anyway, and now it's Iron Fist versus four okay. bars. And here he can he can do whatever the hell he wants. He can he can go ham, oh but he gets clapped by a button. And the re the reason yeah, I sort of say he can go ham here is because it's four characters number one, and Iron Fist shouldn't really be able to kill four characters solo. Mm. But Phoenix in dark without X Factor, as long as she's got one bar, can't really lose to Iron Fist in any. Like manageable way, like one L trap in front of her and some jabs, and she she can't actually uh -huh. be touched by him. His super doesn't reach far enough to get through the trap without being hit, uh, and her jabs but just see, keep him at bay. I, yeah, but see, I think um, one thing that I was thinking when I was watching through this earlier, I am very much a fan. Like I play the person. More, more than I play against the characters. Yes. And one of the things that I found myself saying as I was like saying like, okay, what would I say about this match? What would I say about this situation? Particularly what just happened where he came in and he's got literally four characters, full health X factor. I, my first thought was, you can't rely on resources if you're playing against somebody who's better than you. Mm -hmm. And I think like what we see in this match is exactly that. And it started with the incoming. Let's uh, and you you're gonna show. I, we can pull right back to where you just were. But when he kill, okay, so this hard tag. He gets an opportunity to do an incoming, and he does not call an assist with the incoming. Mm -hmm. So watch how much time there is. He should have back dash, call rocks, dash forward, crouch light light, but he did not call rocks, so he just goes crouch light light, nothing happens, and now, boom, dead. Mm -hmm. And so like this whole snowball starts right there because his opponent knows more about the game than him. Mm. He, uh... So it doesn't even matter on paper. He shouldn't be able to lose. There, I don't think there was a world where he, where he could win, to be honest. Like, you can Ooh. just see that he doesn't understand what you just said about how he can't lose. Ooh. 
So you got to just abuse that. Yeah, even though right now, right now, like uh, it takes me three hits to kill Doom when I, I shouldn't really, yeah. in theory, be able to get a hit on Doom. And then he doesn't need to stay there blocking anything because if he gets hit, like this happens. Uh, and if he doesn't get hit, uh, then he's escaping and he can just fly away. And the, the, like whatever it is, if he tries to escape and I spend a super, you're in the same situation as is is right now, except I have to X factor in a worse situation for me. Uh-huh. Uh, and I suppose, I suppose a little bit like this, it's like the, the rabbit caught in the headlights oh, here where the, the brain function is not happening properly. And, and the, the yeah. experience... He, did, he didn't attempt anything on income. Like, he should have at least dashed up, right, or something. You no know, no reason something versus Iron Fist to ever be beneath normal jump height with any three of these characters, really. Uh, if you can be yeah. mag blasting at super jump height, if you can be like photon arraying and putting a butter gun at foot diving, like Iron Fist yeah. is struggling. And then for Phoenix, she starts, she comes in so high and she can fly so quickly up and away uh, yeah. that there's, there's no need to be there. Uh, and then we see this moment here where she's about to pop and you, you wouldn't know which way Iron Fist is about to go. It kind of looks like he might get shot right, but he does get shot uh-huh. left. And at this spacing, he should, I think, be able to convert that oh right there, God. but she not with did. not with Explosion S. Like you, you, you can you oh can erdash with a jump light right there, I think, and convert. Uh, which, if I did go the other way, would be fine because then Iron Fist is full screen away, and you're using X Factor Three, Dark Phoenix. You put a trap up if I flew the other way, and then I am stuck on the other side of that trap with X Factor or not. Uh, I am stuck. And it's it's that hesitation. And he's in it, so he can't be chipped. So yeah, I see. I see. Yeah, I, I might not be chipped, but she can also just wait me out and build meter uh, the yeah. whole time. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, but it's like again, that would require an understanding of the strategy. And I think there's one game toward like game twenty or something like that where he actually starts using Phoenix Fireball and traps. Mm-hmm. And so I think you know not understanding the strategy that stuff was never gonna happen you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah it it's it's tough at this point it's it's you've, you've not got it in your bag and you have to yeah. experiment while you're playing with it uh right. so really i mean it's sort of like enough said with the with the phoenix it, it's 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 the the learning it's the panic uh it's like they're not quite knowing enough to win certain situations which you know i've seen it before i've lost to that type of thing before but inkler just hasn't seen it before uh yeah it's it's the mag doom maybe which uh okay, she's coming in lost in the set really and i i honestly like what i'm seeing from the magneto like i would not have known he was new he studied the magneto like mm-hmm. there's something either the mag and the rocks or maybe he just really wanted to make sure his magneto was on point i see things that you could not have gathered naturally from the magneto but i don't think i see it from any of the other characters not from the doom i i don't know i didn't pay a lot of attention to the doom it's like there i'm a big i'm also let me speak on incoming i am a big proponent and <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna give y'all y'all gonna get this remy martin rhetoric because i be i'm i don't be lying and i know this is crazy but i do not guess in this game i will not do it like when it is time for incoming i will sit here and watch especially if we're in a long set I will take every incoming, the first 10 games, just to see all the incomings, and then I won't get hit by any more incomings the rest of the game. Like, I'm going to figure it out. But, like, in this situation, here's the death, and when we get Wolverine in, she has so many opportunities from falling in where she could have flown. And if you're not going to fly, then there's no reason not to hit the ground and mash crouch light, which would have stopped this berserker slash, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think would have just about. She's got a four-framer. Yeah. Or throw, likewise. A a plink dash jump. And so, like, 
it like a lot she has a lot of options but you have to be confident in them before this situation happens so as soon as i saw you not meaty on incoming i'm probably going s crouch light 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 super jump because yeah. like you you left it pretty open-ended but if people feel like if people's philosophy on incoming is it's a 50 50 i have to guess he just sat there and guessed and did not have to absolutely not had a third choice or more choices uh, and you sort of see with the timing of it like i had to hard tag there i've only just recovered and phoenix is already right. in. i don't have an assist right. to call here in time to pressure it, it's it's as you say you, you can see visually that i am not ready for this so it's likely yeah. to be slightly later that the mix-up's going to come and yeah. uh, dashing yeah, out but maybe again just experience like you said exactly I or say that uh, a lot in this set Failing that, I mean, you got Phoenix like bionic arm hit the ground and just boom, like <laughs> Phoenix rage me yeah. because you you need to start building bar and killing characters and you know dying with four bars is pointless when four bars an X factor um, for the chance yeah. of blocking Wolverine plus two assists plus X factor plus a Berserker charge coming soon like yeah, waiting for an opportunity to X factor in there can be tricky when you you know your opponent has layers and safe opportunities to mix you up waiting for an opportunity is often something you'll just be waiting until like you've been chipped or you you know you can't block no more yeah um do you know how long inkle has been playing or like what his what was his intro into marvel 3 uh, I'm pretty sure Inkle was playing some Street Fighter, I want to say 4 before. Uh -huh. uh, has been playing some Street Fighter 6 since that came out, but been playing this about 18 months. Uh, so, okay. what would he have been, 14 and a half years old? Uh, something like yeah. that. And yeah, very quickly was, was I think, playing some other characters, but then, then moved into... Uh, Magneto started watching a lot of Ray Ray, started learning high execution stuff, uh, and making a lot of um, every opportunity by you know being able to kill. Like really, it really it really takes a beginner to that intermediate level by just being able to kill off hits, provided that you yeah. finish. Um, I mean, just noticing this situation here as well, like it's Magneto and. I, I often mm. like you. You see over and over again that I do the dive kick into dark hole mix up, but I'm still on the ground here, and you again one of those where you, I feel like Remy Martin would have reacted to to me not 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 taking to the oh, air right there. Maybe. Yeah, let me tell <laughs> y'all would be shocked at how if you just went through matches of mine and watched incoming, I do not get hit on incoming, and again that comes from champ like champ would just sit and lab every incoming and he would point out the spot where you know what's possible in the incoming versus what's not so just mm -hmm. like what you were saying if i did not see you go to the air i'm not getting meaty and so i'm gonna do my not getting meaty option before you have a chance to even do whatever your mix-up is yeah and that's why i say like i will never guess on incoming i'm watching for some telltale signs that tell me exactly what to do i'm not gonna do something random and hope that i don't get it great way of putting it right here phoenix already died We've got Mag Doom left and we've got a fight. We can spend our meter again, but it's that's, that's a lot of chip on that Kyoto Flame. That is so much. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like 140k chip. And then this experience. Wow, thing. okay. The, the, the pillar crazy. hitting behind Mag Doom. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Um, I also noticed let's go back here with max it's before this so in this whole exchange so he gets he gets blessed here that you dropped boom 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 this happens and if you berserker uh barrage i'll say two things one i'm going to talk about the assist like i said the two the two thing two of the three things was like flight pattern plus assist call and so anytime a Wolverine installs and I'm playing rocks. I normal jump, call rocks, 
and back block. dash mag blast or forward dash mag blast. Oh, you you go one on the of offensive. the two. Well, it, it's not even so. I'm. I also like grew up watching and playing Marvel two, and so like when I think about Marvel three, I am rarely thinking about point characters. I in this matchup for me, Magneto is a distraction from rocks or doom being. You will never get tri jumped by me as Magneto unless it's on incoming. And you're always going to get hit by Doom Beam or Rocks. I do Ooh. not play with my point character. I don't I, like it's just not a thing because Magneto can't try jump. First of all, he has no uh, people hate when I say this. He don't have a mix like <laughs> try jump is not real. Stop if it. anybody <laughs> try jumps you and you're not blocking every jab in the game beats try jump every jab so if somebody raw try jumps you just hit them and so like if their assist calls are bad magneto has no mix and so like i will if you go watch one of my matches i spend so much time not hitting you that when i go for the try jump it's free it's absolutely free but like you never see me do it because i'm only playing you with the doom assist that's the only thing I'm doing. It's Mag Blast and Doom Assist. Yeah, so you play you play point Doom Assists with, with Magneto behind it. Yeah. That's the... Magneto that's that's why I like him as a character because he is the opposite of Morgan and Zero, where there is no time where they are not at an advantage. Magneto is never, almost never at an advantage. He's always running away. He's always on the back foot. Ooh. Ooh. And that makes me have to activate my brain there is no mindless hit from magneto it doesn't exist no, and no, that's why i love this I, I've, I've heard the remy martin downplays before by i like so i'm immune to that part but 13 years of playing this game and i've never heard anyone think about the game in terms of i'm playing the assist and magneto is the distraction which which yeah, is, is fundamentally like I'm playing Rising Fang and Wolverine is the distraction. Like Justin Wong was yep. playing playing Tatsu and Wolverine was the distraction. Uh -huh. But like in terms yeah. of And that's where we that's where I get it from. Justin and Tatsu, he don't care what Wolverine do. Justin is playing Tatsu, Makli, Zenfukian. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. Love it. Um, yeah, so if he had up jump. Oh, okay, you DAC. Um, but yeah, up back, you can't lose in this situation. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, I would have up back, call rocks, and now you have to make a move, and I can go wherever I want. And so versus um, you having all the freedom that you had just then to do whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. I, so I suppose uh, going back to the like fundamental reasons like like uh, rmz is a uh, a player in the uk who's played he played this game mm -hmm. back in when it came out uh but he's played like dbfc he's played uh like all street fighters like he's he, he's og and his mind works mm -hmm. on, a, on a fundamentally different level like not not different not so different from yourself uh, and he will sit and with with extreme discipline he will watch a set first to 25 and he will count every single way that he gets hit every single different way and he might have a list where right in 25 first 25 games we played here 29 games out of those 29 games i got hit 16 times this way 37 times this way this mistake over yep. and over right i'm going to work on that i'm going to go train yep. that and then that in yep. this order that priority uh and it's, it's a really clever way of like breaking down okay well i'm making mistakes and if i just watch and like think oh that was bad and then 10 games later i do the same thing maybe i won't notice but like like one thing that happens here because I'm because I'm pressuring here, he ends up early on here. He's he's at a really high super jump height here, too high mm -hmm. to without proper like management of his mag blasts. That mag blast yep. is so far away from Magneto by the time he's coming down. Yep. Like it poses so little threat to Wolverine. Like like mag blast height management. Just practicing that alone is a huge yeah. Magneto neutral win. That was my first, um, when I was watching this earlier, this interaction right here was the first time I felt like I had enough data points to comment on his mag blast usage. Mm. And so one thing about this situation, I'm not gonna end up in the 
right spacing. Or maybe I am actually. Oh no, I need him right before that. So when he does this super jump, so this one he comes back down. Now he's going to do this super jump here. This right here. Mm. There is there is no way to get down from this angle safely or this height safely without doing a down forward dash. Yeah. So or down forward or down back. That was, that was so my can, exact thought here that I'd be yeah. I dash like down forward once and then plink dash back a couple times and then plink dash back uh -huh. into the corner with an S to get down quick. Maybe uh, there might be a berserker slash waiting for me if I do that. Uh huh. What 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 would you do? If you start like down forward or down back with one dash, like how, how, what's, so your, what's your choice? In this here? Situ in this situation, I thought of two things. I make a habit of, again, Justin Wong, F champ. I am conditioning you without your permission with Ooh. Magneto. I just need you to get, I'm doing like these phantom, like there's like a phantom offense. So if I were here, I would down back S mag blast. Because when you go down back, and mag blast it there is no space between magneto and the mag blast mm -hmm. and same when you go down forward mag blast so if he were going to go this height i would go down back mag blast because you're as the wolverine gonna be like oh shit i didn't think he was gonna do that and then i would jump up there again and i might go down back mag blast again mm -hmm. and then i go up there and i may go all the way across and down forward mag blast like i'm never gonna do one exchange every time i go into the air it is to condition you yeah so like he goes up and he's going to fly across. He wanted to hit you right there. There is no way for Magneto to hit his opponent from that height, only dashing forward. And so, like, if I'm ever too high, I recognize before I plink anywhere, this is not an offensive situation. I actually fucked up, and I need to figure out how to get down. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to get down advantageously. Yep. I made a mistake already and I should die unless I can think my way out of this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, which is experience the, like that height right there is just, it was just a pure punish on, from that position. You, yeah. Some sort of movement needed yeah. to correct it and a risk taken right. for it. And Phoenix here, again, the, the, the lack of movement, the lack of, oh, you're on the ground. Okay, we're getting lucky. Yeah. Uh, I suppose that's X experience here because if I snap with um, Iron Fist, so if I have to OTG with Iron Fist into the corner here, uh, I can't uh -huh. then do an Iron Fist mix up. It has to be. It has to be. Mm, dark see, I would have been waiting for Iron Fist. I wouldn't even have noticed that actually. Uh, that's that's, that's, that's the difference between me and you. Obviously, I know. Uh, oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd have been. Waiting well, you you don't know anything about Iron Fist, right there. Um, like like maybe Wolverine experience I'd have again. Grabbed. Absolutely, I'd have like that right there. I, I feel like nine out of ten dooms would have grabbed, and I think normally if this was casuals, Inkler would have grabbed. Okay, yeah. I, I think I think the pressure of a set, the pressure knowing that we're going to play hard for twenty five, uh, uh -huh. changed the way that Inkler plays. The comfort wasn't there, and and that's interesting because I'm the opposite. The longer we're playing, the more I will lose. Nah, you didn't. But that's quite a lot of damage to be taken. I don't have a problem losing it a lot of games in a long set because i'm losing them for a reason mm -hmm. but like yeah. i recognize that a lot of Jesus. people don't think that way yeah like if i know we finna have to play for a long time i need to see as much as possible i'm i'm kind of uh sussing out how deep is your bag and so I'm going to take every incoming, I'm going to try some risky shit, I'm going to get hit in ways in these first five games that I will never get hit again for yeah. the rest of the season. Yeah, because I need to see how deep your bag is. Pure experimentation. Did we kill Magneto? Yeah. No, we stick to the game plan. Nice block on the floor. Great okay, block. that was good. And yeah, invasion. block. And push block and came down. So now it's that's interesting because now in both of those exchange three three times in a row now he's doing the right thing. I wonder what the difference is. So he knows he just wasn't doing it before. Yeah. Even with Doom. Okay, I'm with it. Okay, so he know what's up. 
great throw. He threw me out of it, I'm, I'm Looking at that throw again, that was a hell of a good throw. I got to show yeah. I'm, I'm really I can tell that he, like, you can tell that he's got some time and some understanding. It's just about, like, how consistent. Yeah, Look nice. at that. Yeah. He know what he knows some stuff. It's just mm -hmm. about how consistently he's doing it. Yeah, it's it's not it's not tech. Uh, it's in some cases, like matchup stuff, perhaps, and then Phoenix Tech. Mm -hmm. But like with Magdoom, the games were lost. You know, Phoenix was a bit of a liability, but the games were lost on decisions with Magneto or Doom, X Factor or meter choices well, with them, yeah, offensive or defensive yeah. and choices that's how with them. That's how this team, that's how any Magneto team works. Any team will point Magneto, they live and die by the Magneto. And, like, I think that's why Mag Doom is the least played shell at the highest level. Because, like, all the other, you know, Morgan Doom, Virgil Doom, well, Virgil Missiles in particular, not Virgil Doom, uh, and then Jam Session Zero, like, it those characters and those oh, no. um yeah, that's fine. That works. shells oh, will know. save you yep. nobody saves magneto except the person playing him mm -hmm. and so like mag doom it just takes a lot of skill it's a lot about about two percent of what you just said was was like legible like like like, like coherent like, like it was all downplay um <laughs> like, like I, I, I disagree completely hey, with everything that just came I'm, out of your mouth yeah, hey. uh because i was about think? to say like like you know if a mag doom you know if, if a mag doom loses a player with magneto play loses it's all down to how he played the magneto and i'm thinking bitch you have you have doom virtual on your team <laughs> it's just I'm I'm gonna go ahead and get it out now. So I know we ain't far into the set. And I was talking to somebody in my locals last night. I've got a newer guy playing. He plays a lot of games, and I'm really actually like surprised at how quickly he's picking up Marvel Three. But you know, you can tell that he has been watching a lot of current day Marvel Parset commentators because he's like, oh my god, Virgil is so broken. I'm sorry to the chat and people who are about to be very upset, but Doom Virgil is not a thing. It's not a thing. Like, I promise you, and this again, coming from the FGTV days, Champ spent weeks making sure that he would never lose to Virgil. And to watch that live, to watch him do incoming uh dimension slash at different times different moments he knew when it was gonna fly all the way up across the screen he tried to find out when it was gonna cross and when it wasn't and he yeah. got some some information but watching that live showed me that this is not a thing like yep. the biggest thing about Virgil is what I said earlier. People assume that when Virgil drops onto the screen, they have to guess. And because you have already decided that you don't know what to do, guess what happens? You don't do anything. I and mean, so like I it's just not a thing. If, if I there, see there is, if I if I see so if I see Jabril story. fall in with with a Virgil and that Virgil does not instantly get pressured to the point where there's no escape apart from an x fight to guard cancel like, yeah. like i just i just know that gay games gonna like pull out some like horrifically mean spirited neutral defying <laughs> nonsense with virgil like that character in x Factor right. 3 and dark is nuts but then with jam session or missiles uh, oh Fiji Green made a point that plasma beams are more manageable, and I agree. Uh, but yeah. I just, uh, it's just disgusting, uh, especially if you use rapid but slash now and then, unlike you. I wish, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm a a uh, strong opponent of rapid slash. But I do not I, rapid slash, and no, I only no, do not, helm breakers that hit. You can't get into this. <sighs> I'm so, I don't even I don't even understand why this is contentious. You will not find footage of me rapid slashing. That the rapid slash that I did in um I did a disgusting incoming against Frankie in grand finals and it contained a rapid slash. It was sick, complete accident. And I was <laughs> so mad internally. If the incoming had not been OD. I would have been so mad at myself, but I do not rap it slash. No, you do I not. I won't do, haven't done it in years. You, you've done a few Will against me. Will not do it. 
I I probably did troll you. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. You, I don't rap. You, you inputted it before Virgil was even on the screen in 108 TMS. Like it was. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, Fiji Greed. Thank you for coming, dropping by, and uh, Zetsu. You want to hear me say, "Full Zetsu." <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, this game right here, uh, Inkler, Inkler gets a hit on my Doom. Sorry, my Domamu with okay. Doom. Uh -huh. And he has he has the choice here. Spend bar to kill, uh, spend uh -huh. X fight to kill, or TAC, or potentially just reset and leave me leave me to live here. Did you leave? Okay. And he, sp he spends bar here, and I'm sort of, uh, you can see it in my face if I can move out of the way. <laughs> I do see your face. <laughs> I, I'm I'm questioning so reality right now because I know spotty. that the Phoenix matchup versus Iron Fist with no X Factor is like nine one. It is horrific, and X Factor is the choice I would have made. Like like, and it would have not even been a close call. Like spending the meter, not an option here versus Iron Fist. Uh, well, because now if I get any hit, I can snap, and if I get any hit, like she's dead, and then the game is down to a yeah. fur match again. Uh, and he's still got X-Factor, but it's, it's fairer than it was nigh on unwinnable yeah. if he just spent X-Factor. So because he spends yeah. his bar here and it's the choice that was incorrect, I'm just going to mash. I'm just going to no go nuts because I know the pressure's a bit on him. And he's he's uh -huh. feeling this and twitching. And I now don't even need to snap. And I, I still mess it up. <laughs> I don't need was to snap. chip damage? Oh, no. Yeah, chip damage. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Oh, okay. And I, I should have lost there, but again... Tech and hesitation, and now she's dark and worried. Oh, wow, that was unfortunate. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen like the back hitting jump. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> look at that jump, yeah, like, look at, okay, that's like that's like Not a jump the medium reverse kick. Try jump. That's a reverse try jump. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, and it's just she's always afraid of doing something and you know being unable to save herself. So he's he's got to yeah. play really reserved and. Maybe back up and get a trap, but yeah. worried about the the, the speed of uh, Iron Fist. Like it, it is hard. One thing I'll say for Phoenix players: if you're trying to back dash away and then get a trap without accidentally getting the teleport, it's it's a horrible feeling when you're against a character with good ground speed. Mm. We can talk about that. Um, before I also want to name something in that moment. Uh, with the dope, he like killed. Dormammu and then he backs off with Doom which is in theory the right thing to do like I think that is the actual that's what you're supposed to do but now so when you get back here now you're supposed to take to the sky you're supposed to go where Iron Fist cannot mm -hmm. he is going to stay on the ground except once or two super jumps and he's going to come back down and try to fight with a grappler He's going to try to fight a ground-based character. Yeah. That is never a good idea. Like, another pro tip, I am never trying to hit you with Victor Vondo. He is not made to hit people. He is made to run away. And if you get foot divin in the midst of that, you wanted it. You I'm wanted never it. trying to hit you with them. You wanted it. Look if what you, you made me do. Nose, Right, I was just over here trying to foot dive for to have a look a good time. Yeah, I, just, I just like to hear myself say I, foot dive. I, I was looking go. down at my Doc Martens, my Timberlakes, and yeah, you just right. found your way underneath my, them. I was just checking out the kicks, what, and what, here what, you come. What, what's your neck doing under on there? My parade. <laughs> right, and so watch this. He stays grounded. Boom, comes back down up, and so now he's fighting you. You and now you did. Like Doom is not made to fight people. <laughs> like it's not it's not what you're supposed <laughs> he's, to he's do. He's not, he's not built for the fight. He's he's uh He's not. That's why he got them photon rays and that foot dive. That man is not trying to have a fair fight with anybody. Yeah. Like he if, does not have hands. If you can see like my mouse on the screen, uh at least stream can, mm. uh it is it is just above Iron Fist's head height where none of his normals will confirm anymore into anything. So you are only worried mm. at that height and above about a throw. And his throws are like finicky and unpredictable at times. There's weird heights where if you're at a certain height, they don't work. If you go a bit higher, they do work. And if you're higher than that, they don't work again. Like, like his throws are so ass. 
the like, <laughs> it's like a rainbow it works it doesn't work it works it doesn't work and like the only way you can convert those is with x factor uh mm-hmm. if you're in it already basically uh, because you don't really have time so you to don't get anything off of air throw not really no uh, if it's a super jump height nothing if it's like middle ground like between normal jump height and there like it will work uh-huh. um but anything that's like like weird like middle ground there like it, it can mess up for no reason uh but yeah getting the throw like his damage is really limited because he's lost his ground bounce and he can potentially mm-hmm. spend two bars and do like 400k and for phoenix mm-hmm. here making me spend two bars like it's not really consequential but you might as well mm-hmm. defend yourself in the skies and if you take a throw you take a throw uh yeah but like inkler keeps coming back down to this height throwing and flinches again and then it's the, the yeah. same sort of thing like here with phoenix coming in there's no reason to be anywhere near the floor or waiting you don't need to pr- pr- you don't need to put that super out there because you should be up in the sky yeah yeah in fact, actually, there's, um, there's, a, think... there's a point there that's a matchup thing. Uh, Phoenix is actually a little bit low on health, but I think even if I have... it's, I think if I have Red Chi and I do a Volcanic Roar, I think it just kills uh, Phoenix. But if I don't have Red Chi, uh, I can't kill her with a Volcanic Roar from like her full health. Huh. I think she survives okay, it. Okay, Master. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Um, I also think like going back to strategy. Um it's same with Magneto. Like Magneto is an aerial character. He should never be like advancing on Wolverine. Like just by design, Magneto cannot hit a very strong ground based character unless we're in the air. And so, like, that's just something that you have to know uh, matchup-wise, experience-wise, and then you keep those circumstances true. Mm. And so, like, one of the things about playing Magneto against Wolverine, I'm either going to be in the air or I'm going to be full screen throwing projectiles at you to force you into the air. What I'm not going to do is come down here to where you excel. Yes. I'm not going to be in your face on the ground. Play to your I'm strengths. Not, I'm just not letting that happen. And yeah, you, you play to your strengths and depending on your opponent's character and what their strengths are, you change how you play to avoid those strengths in particular. Uh, and yeah. Just illustrating what you're saying there, like right here, there's a, there's a drop, that medium there, and then immediately uh-huh. like jumps towards the guy who dives kicks and throws who you. Who dive kicks? <laughs> I dive, I dive, yeah. kick, and I throw you when I'm in the air. There's, there's two things that he does, and the other thing that I do is call that guy right there. Jesus, good night. So, so in this yeah, situation, like, if, uh. if if Remy somehow dropped this combo right here with the stand medium, <laughs> uh, not that you uh, ever would. Here, right here, what is your choice? Back dash, crouch, M rocks, forward dash, jab, crouch, short. Oh, dash, short, short, oh, short. Oh, Remy's a scumbag, is what you're saying to me. I was I was gonna say I'm out of there I'm out of dodge I'm I'm plink dashing back five times and then I'm doing some mag blasts and just then setting up but for see, my assists. I think it depends on where we are in the set, but because so this another thing like me and Zay uh, talk about playing, and I think this comes it either comes from Ray or Champ, but we play the screen in sections, and so to me there are the screen is always split into thirds Ooh. and. Here, we are at range one-third. If I were to backdash, I'm two-thirds. If I was to do two backdashes, I'm full screen. So at one-third, this is where your opponent is most vulnerable, especially if they play a um, very scrappy character. Because you see, this. what is this the perfect angle for? A dive kick. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna do it. Like, you, it, there's no reason not to. You're gonna do it because it should work. And so I'm gonna do one backdash yep. to two thirds, call my assist, rocks best covers mm. two thirds. It's mm-hmm. the best from two thirds to one third. And so I would have noticed the screen 
separation backed up to two thirds called rocks went back forward to my pressure zone at one third and and just stared at you Ooh. until the rocks touch you because i dare you to do something it, it's like you're reading combo breaker. it's like you're reading a recipe to me right now like you've you opened up a cookbook and it's a different one than the one we've been talking about so far we got a new cookbook and you're reading this beautiful recipe to me um because that Wolverine dive kit comes down and it will hit like Magneto in the dick right there. It's, it's going to hit Magneto yep. round about the dick. So if he backs up oh, once roundabout. and does a crouch medium, like I might just fall straight oh, onto baby. that crouch medium. Trip guard. Yeah, you trip can, guard. you're going to yep. trip guard me. The assist is coming. Like If I call Iron Fist, he's going to land on top of rocks. He's going to miss yep. Magneto at that range. Like, mm, like chef's Now guessing. everybody Mwah. did. Mwah. Everybody did. Everybody did. <laughs> everybody did. But instead, we had two situations, and now Phoenix is in. I tried to do like that Noel dive kick thing on him, but he's not, uh -huh. press, not, not, not pressing any buttons there, not getting thrown, not getting hit. That, uh, Noel and uh, some brown kid, baby. That that jump H is that'll ruin your life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll ruin your life. But here, here we've 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 got nearly four bars for Inkler, and we have okay. plenty of time on the clock. We can play whatever neutral we want. Magneto mm -hmm. with an assist versus Dorm, I feel, is so tough for Dorm uh, with Iron Fist behind him. Uh, I can only what's really your, go ahead. What's your strategy right here? I have to move. Yeah. Magneto's too mobile, too quick, and too able to switch from uh, complete runaway to like like some more sort of movement with an assist, uh, to just full screen beams, to, oh, you did a pillar, sorry, now I'm at your face, after I've just blinked full dash, uh, full screen across. Mm. I have to move, and I have to play defensively, and I have to like, like try and negate the occasional projectile uh, to just switch things up, and I can occasionally see a situation unfold where a dark matter will hit, left or right, and I can uh -huh. use that to my advantage in that one moment that I get out of, you know, five to ten different movement, like, things happening on screen. Uh, or I can see Iron Fist is about to be blocked, and I can quickly get a quick tri -dash light in a moment where you might be looking to push or punish or, you know, do something. So I'm trying to move, and for Inkless' perspective here, with Magdoom Phoenix, one bar to get, in, in reality, getting a hit on Dorm building five bars is almost the secondary win condition in my mind here for if i was playing that magneto right there i would be trying to hit dorm or if the opportunity comes i know that that's the game clincher because i would have five and dark phoenix in the bag and iron fist shouldn't win that if i mm -hmm. was in clear in this situation uh that's how i see it for magneto in this position any hit on dorm is dead I'd, I'd, I would X-Factor, or maybe I'd just play it safe and do a TAC Infinite if I could get the TAC to hit. Um, but from your perspective, like, is that how you see this, or do you have another take on this? Okay. I would... Well, first of all, I I learned... I don't know, like, I'm a little... I don't know if it's lost. I'm a little surprised that your thought is from back here, you're going to move. Because in my mind, I want you to move. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go full screen because and I'm going to go back to the Wolverine thing. Wolverine is great on the ground, so I'm not going to play on the ground. Magneto is great at movement. And so if somebody creates a situation for me to use movement, I'm going to win that situation. Mm -hmm. And so like when I play against Noel, Noel anchors in this corner right here until, until I move, then he counter moves because he knows if he moves first, it ain't nowhere dorm can go. Then Magneto's not already there before he get there. Mm. And so I would have thought, that the dorm is going to anchor in this in this situation. That's my first thought. My second thought, I have a question for you. Have you noticed at this point in the set or even in our rewatch that Inkla has yet to use Disruptor? <laughs> I've not actually noticed that, no. 
He does. He has not done a single disruptor. And so going back to what I said about I play against the person, my I've got a twofold plan here if I'm dorm. I'm up seven games. I And at this point, I would say there are some fundamental things that this person does not know about piloting this team or this character. And in order for me to continue to level up in this set, I have to either tell that person directly or I have to force them to figure it out Mm. themselves. And so what I would have done right here, looked up, saw my seven games, and I'd have just started charging spells and teleporting hither and thither and yon until he had to attempt disruptor because i want disruptor introduced into the game so that i can start playing so we can have another dimension like he goes this almost this whole set with no disruptor yeah and so it makes you able to win every game very similarly Mm -hmm. so i would have forced him into figuring out that he needs to use disruptor so the gameplay would get more complex that's uh that's really interesting, and I think I think part of the approach that I stated like before, like right now, I'm thinking about it as uh, I know that Inkler is fast with his movement and very aggressive mm-hmm. as a player. Like it potentially subconsciously, I was thinking that he's probably not going to sit back and try and shoot stuff at me. Uh, he's much more likely to try and get past anything I try to do if I do sit and hunker down in that corner he's much Mm -hmm. more likely to press me. Uh, Mm -hmm. So, and and there's that. And then also on Hitbox, I'm still trying to develop uh, my movement and my patterns and movement in particular. Like that's something that I had on stick. Uh, Like without thinking about it, I could be where I Mm -hmm. wanted with Dorm and and put a pillar where I wanted without thinking about it. Whereas there's still a level of like, like cog, like cognitive like process going on there intentional i'm thinking <laughs> i'm really thinking about it uh, uh-huh. and like, like like it's getting it's getting good at this point but it's still not second nature again uh so it probably comes from that idea but you're it, it, you're sort of you've got something there that maybe i've i've gotten better over the years at adjusting to my opponent and seeing that but i i, I i'm not remy mine and yeah, I'm no sort of a F champ or Aliun or like there's lots of greats in the game who can recognize patterns far, far quicker than I can. Um, I react to smaller things that go on. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. Like there's, there's things that I sort of like take note of, um, mm-hmm. but, but maybe it's a very different set of notes in my head compared to the sort of things that you're looking for. And that's just a fundamental, I think, person difference as to how we approach this game. Uh, so really interesting yeah. to hear you, you put it that way, and it may, maybe it's, it's who right. we've played against and who we get regular competition with um, in this type of matchup. Yeah, I, I, I think I'll, I think it is like who we are. I, I, when I think about your play, the reason I like to play you is because you know every minute situation. That is not something you will ever hear about Remy Martin. You will hear that like. And you will see that I am outplaying my opponent conceptually. Mm. I'm not getting into this situation and making the right move. I just avoid the situation altogether. I'm only doing situations that I want done in the whole game. Mm -hmm. Like that's I'm playing zoomed out. You play zoomed in. And when I play you, I have to zoom in or I won't win. Because, like, we're the antithesis of each other's play. Yeah. And so, like, I really like playing granular people because it forces me to have to learn a different skill or hone a different skill. Interesting. So we've discussed, like, what we think about this situation right now. I don't know what comes next, to be honest. Uh, I don't either. I know I'm about to win this game because it gets to gets to like, 10, doesn't it, before Inkle starts winning. Uh, yeah. But let's see how he takes it. Yeah. With that actually plays for me there we go okay you were right about that he went forward okay i like this nooch okay i'm with it i see i'd have disrupt it right there mm. instead of going forward but i see i see why i went forward right there yeah i approach dorm a lot because as people 
I find that people who play dorm are more comfortable with their space. Like people who identify with dorm, they want to push you away from them. So every time I hit the ground against dorm, I forward dash. Yeah. Because dorms don't be ready for that. And also and it, I'm not going to do nothing. I'll forward dash and block or I'll forward yeah. dash and back dash, but I'm trying to prey on your desire. So yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck with what you want. Cuz cuz you know I like the the way to stop a player from being comfortable with the zoning and the play at a distance is to make them think you're going to do something that isn't about to come. So going forwards and going back, yeah. uh, going yeah. forwards for, for dorm in particular, if you move between the H pillar and the M pillar, that's a nice wide uh -huh. space right there in that middle ground between the two uh -huh. where right now you are one dash and like a crouch heavy away from hitting me. And that's like, oh, that's like yeah. 10 frames worth of stuff, like a dash into that crouch <laughs> heavy and I'm like getting hit. So I have to now think, I need to put a carpet down. I need to move. I need to call Iron Fist. I need to. Sp I need to spend my assist that is only available mm -hmm. every like two seconds. Like I need to spend it now mm -hmm. because Magneto's in a threatening position. But here instead, he gets. Where are we? Uh, he gets here and he moves forwards repeatedly. So he's moving forwards, like waits back, moves forward, and then gets hit. Uh, there's not I enough. also would have stayed grounded instead of moving forward in the air because Iron Fist goes up like that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he, he sees that he's about to lose his Magneto. And personally, uh -huh. uh, I might have used that opportunity just for one last one last little spurt of uh, movement and offense, potentially. Because I, th I think uh -huh. there I'd rather lose the Magneto on a, on a Phoenix team then, than save mm -hmm. him. Because I'm not going to spend the bar to save him. Because that's stupid, but I'm, I'm also probably thinking uh, I actually kind of want him to die. I, I, I want my team yeah. to be down closer to Dark Phoenix rather than scrapping it out over a long period of time. Uh, that's that's my personal approach to it, and I don't really, I've never had the chance to speak to a top, top Phoenix about that idea. Uh, but that's my thought. Yeah, I also want do. I mean, so we're at, I guess I can't hard tag Phoenix. Um, I want Doom Phoenix more than I want Magneto Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Like, if I was playing Mag Doom Virgil, I might actually. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm giving y'all all my. I'm giving all my shit away. I do not save Magneto. It's all right. You're never gonna like, play in any tournaments. I don't. I don't. You know, I don't do tournaments. Uh, but I. I do not save Magneto. First, I, I, I'm also I'm my pixel Magneto is is pixel zero, baby. I will win the I will win the rest of these sixty eight seconds yes. with that amount yeah, of life you, right there. Your offense and I'm neutral not. decisions, the good enough to win the rest of it for you. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit similar yeah. like that with Wolverine. Like getting back a couple of hundred k mm -hmm. health with him sometimes just isn't mm -hmm. worth it. And I am ready to transition into phase two of the match. Exactly, and it goes to strategy, like. I am ready to play Doom Virgil. I'm ready to play Doom Phoenix. I'm ready to play Doom. Like he, he's, he's Doom Virgil his is not a thing. <laughs> I don't even like. I leave my Doom in. Ray Ray cannot stand this. Ray hates that I will not DHC to Virgil. I only DHC to Virgil as a punch. On a, yeah, and like I told y'all, I'm giving y'all, I'm giving y'all the tea, but like. And I hear commentators say it all the time. Remy's trying to get two bars to DAC to Virgil. You've never seen me do that. You think that's what I'm doing. You've seen and I know opponent. my opponent be think that's what I'm doing too, but I'm not. I'm not trying to get Virgil in. If I wanted him in, he'd be in. I don't want him in. I want to play you with Doom. And so, like, just, I, I would rather have Doom Excellent. Phoenix. I'd have let Magneto die. Yeah. I'd have let him die. And here, he doesn't let Magneto die. And I'm ready with that dark oh matter like it, it's coming and because i've set this up and i don't have the bar to at least punish with chaotic flame uh, as a personal mm -hmm. point i have to make this punish count uh and i don't have the bar if i had the bar i would have x-factored that and snapped phoenix but i don't if you had the bar okay so yeah you don't have the resources okay why Wh why not play um why not zone with dorm iron fist 
I guess to what end? I guess you're, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, it, okay, it's like you. slow. He's going to get the five. Um, there's a chance I'll just take a, a straight foot dive or a grab. Uh, ah, it's, okay. it's 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 yeah. like 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 play. Right. I, I don't want to elongate a, a match. Like I'm ready to play Dorm Iron Fist, and Dorm Iron Fist needs to play a game where opportunities come my way and I I snatch them. Mm -hmm. uh, at least in in my mind, okay. that's the way gotcha. I play it. Like if if gotcha. I get a hit like okay. this, I'm not letting you get away with anything. And it, it it's it's that mm. it's that knowledge that you know. Anytime I hit you, you are getting killed or getting snapped. And I, I don't want you to have to be able to just hard tag and, oh, I got away with that one, needed Dark Matter into Dark Hole. Uh, I bet I could do that next time, yay. Uh, I, you know that if you make that choice, it is going to cost you. There is a cost that you mm. are paying for it. Uh, I'm mm. going to punish you. And it's that sort of thing that, that puts the pressure on because I need it to feel that way because my character doesn't have projectiles. Wolverine's got to be right next to you to hit you. I don't have mm -hmm. a means to outplay you so much in neutral. I have to outpressure you in neutral. Mm. I, can, I can make some 99 decisions. I can make a good call. I can read stuff, but I need to be making you feel pressured. And it's when that pressure is, is on that you're going to make mistakes and you're going to make bad choices. Mm. Whereas I'm used to that. Mm -hmm. That's my bread and butter. And that's how I can survive in a tournament bracket, which is like the whole point here. So I'm going to kill doom. Phoenix is ah didn't kill. What am I doing? Ooh. X Factor Two Dorm too 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 silly. And now I'm I'm just playing like a scrub right now. I mean, you can afford to. That's I can fine. afford to. Yeah, yeah. And then Magneto Pretty should fine. just die. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I want myself the uh, the good spell. Oh I, lord! I, I didn't have time. I don't know what that was. I'd have got hit. It's chaos. Oh, so there's the hitbox. I, I missed oh, Chaotic oh. Flame. I missed Dark Hole. And see, he could have teleported. Could, no, you you no, had he, bar, but no, no. Um, did did I have? Could I have DHC'd here? Where where did Iron Fist come? Yeah, I could have DHC'd here. So right here, I am option selecting. Like I'm mashing, uh, volcanic raw super right there. So uh -huh. this, this whole time, if he teleports the there, teleport, yeah, he's gonna instantly oh, die okay. for it. Uh, well, he might he, well, actually. That's not a point actually because if I don't have, I don't have red cheese, so he wouldn't have died unless I somehow got the Iron Rage super, but I was mashing it, so I would have got Volcanic Raw. So unless that Stalking Flare can travel back up to the top right of the Which screen, right. she, she might have lived, but again, it's a situation where I'm happy. And then that. Okay. Um, right there, like to be honest, I, I don't know if I just timed that superbly right there. Like If I look at it, Jesus, like I, I can't tell. Okay. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. That's cheap. Like th th that that <laughs> dark matter. I wonder if maybe a jab could have been stuck out there beforehand, or mashed crouch medium to low profile it, or something. Yeah, but it, well, nobody for to do that. It, <laughs> I'd have just died. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, guess, I guess I'll just die then. I'm, I will die, and that I mean that's the truth about me. I will die before I guess. Mm. I just I have too much pride to guess. I'll lose. Mm-hmm. Then Brock's mm. not not really playing too much. Man. Here. Oh no. Ooh. No, and uh, drop it throne, Jesus. Mm. It's this like that those sort I of I wanna say Jesus. something about the rock. I I don't know. I feel like I I'd have to I'ma say I'ma say a loose a loose comment. Mm -hmm. Like with rocks, you have to play rocks like jam session. That's when rocks is the best. And so, like, let's see if I can see where he went oh, no. backwards. Here. Drop it, he throw. Oh. Right there. I'd have, I'd have called rocks right there, which he did. And I would have stayed grounded. I'd have wave dash, wave dash, stand light. And I, but you, and see, he didn't, he didn't keep you out of the air first he let you go up you had to run in and put a button in front of wolverine before he got in the air mm. and then let the rocks come through and then go for a mix because magneto has no mix like unless you are blocking the assist right now full fledged on the ground magneto has no mix and so like you cannot let a dive kicking character jump into your assist because yeah. you just that turn is over. You you don't get anything. 
I'm right there. Except here. You see that? <laughs> Iron Fist is available. I'm in the air and uh, I'm about to be reset here. There it is. Like I'm about to be reset, and he's jumping at me, and I've got a dive kick and an iron fist. Out of back, out of no. you see, he went for it right there. That's not a thing. Like Magneto cannot try jump people that are not on the ground blocking an assist. That's not a thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, and you knew that. And then it's it, it's pressuring and it's chasing because I I know that assist is super fast, so I have to be the preemptively to get the next call before it comes. Does he die? And then you purposely didn't kill because you wanted the mix up. You said that. And so you wanted this incoming, which I think yeah. is Berserker Slam. Jesus. That is so cheap. I mean, in that situation, you got to be mashing something right there. Like, this Team Super. Like, yeah. it's Wolverine with all the, all the resources. Like, just do something. Yeah. But I think, again, experience. He did it right there. That was correct. Um, also, I'll give a little another tidbit about assist calls. So, like, r that one final round that we were at, me and Zay were standing around watching Ray. I don't know if it was tournament, I don't know if it was casual, mm -hmm. but his assist was always blacked out. And I'm like, how does he do that? Like, he knows exactly it is programmed into his body yeah exactly when he can call that next assist and so i walked around the screen and i said hey look at his assist it's always blacked out mm -hmm. it's always doom or signal how is he doing that yeah and so we went up to him after and he was like well you know his thing ray's thing has always been assist calls and so he told us, he was like, okay, like there are all these ways you can call assist. He said, most people will call assist and dash, or they will dash and then call assist. Like that's what, that's their two things they can do. They'll either crouch and crouch light, call assist, or they'll call assist, crouch light. He said, I'm using all the ways to call assist mm -hmm. in this game. And so for instance, one, you can call assist with any direction in the game. And so the thing that makes this opening good is he is in the air and calls the assist he did not call the assist before he left the ground he's actually in normal jump and he back dashes and calls the assist yep. so now the assist acts as jam session whereas if he had called it beforehand it just would have got dive kicked and so like that's a third dimension of assist call yeah you can also press up plus assist which gets you a whole different assist call. You can press up, plink assist to backdash, yep. mag blast, gets you a different call. You can go down assist up and get a buffered super jump plus assist. And so like a lot of times when, and this is what makes mag doom, this is the only thing that makes it workable mm -hmm. is Per, a person knowing all the different varieties of assist calls. This is not a um, shell if you don't know how to do that. And so this is why a lot of people cannot touch me in neutral. Because they keep saying like, your assists are in places that I've never seen assist be. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm calling assist like seven or eight different ways, whereas most people only call it two. That's a really good point, actually. Uh, that, that that extra familiarity and the time put into training to experiment with those different ways. It, it makes the world of difference when you've got someone like yourself who is calling them those different ways for multiple different reasons because you're reading stuff, because you just want the variety mm -hmm. and to keep people on the toes. Uh, it makes a huge difference. Uh, whereas when you are coming up, you are a little bit repetitive and you'll see actually... Uh, Inkler here is calling this this uh, molecular shield into my dark hole, uh, and I've called mm. it that way so that I could get Doom, so I could get my Wolverine in the way of that mag blast, and then I can block the the uh, molecular shield here in the way. Uh, but there's other times where I'll dash and I'll do you know like dash into special with it, uh, dash into block and 
doing a lot of the dashing stuff and sometimes like dive kick with it instead because then the timing of when it hits is different you're going to press a button right as it's about to start up and get hit by it that way like the the familiarity of all these different ways and it's like like that subtle difference makes my offense that much different with ray it makes like like, like that's scummy the way you're describing that uh oh because that God. that's what it's like when i play against ray i feel a little bit helpless with this team it's so fun because because he has so it much neutral happening unfair. all the time like it's, it's plasma so beams on unfair. me, drones is on me. Plasma beams oh. on me, drones is on me. Oh my god! And it's whilst so unfair. and whilst there's not an assist, he's nowhere near me. And then the assist is out again, and he's in my face again. And the assist is covering him, and it's 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 unfair. Like you say, uh, right here, like. I, he should be right now. Inkler should be seeing Dom, Domamu there. We've we've had this interaction before. I've happy birthdayed him in this match like this before. Uh, he should mm. be keeping safe with Magneto right now. Magneto's about to land. He should be safe. And he tried, I think. I don't he, know what that attempt was. I, I mean, you think he just missed the ground plank? I think he meant to plink back for some reason, just out of habit, and missed it and got a heavy. Mm -hmm. And I don't went up forward fly. Because that was another thing Ray taught us is that you always want to get on the other side of the point character. Yeah. If you're ever under the pressure of an assist and you want that to nullify that, that assist, you need to get on the other side as quickly as possible. And so in that situation with the rocks, once I saw Dark Hole was going to hit Doom, I would have gone up forward so that you could not capitalize on my doom being here. Yeah, I have it, the, the game is same now exact track thought. Wolverine to me. Yeah, <clears throat> and then this is just uh, yeah one of these. It's, it's it's in my favor hugely. Just playing for some sort of snag or but this is the neutral game. This is where he's actually playing Phoenix correctly. Gets in the five bars on deck. This is the first time this set that this has happened. You're right. And we're nine games in. Look at this. The first trap you've seen. First fireballs. He's and using the, um, I don't know what that thing called. Overdrive. Like, Overdrive, yeah. You see, this is great. That This is great. I'm mm -hmm. with it. Oh, wrong teleport. This is fine. Yeah, because yeah, uh, Feathers beat that. That's fine. Uh, I'd have been saying I went back to the nooch. Yep, nooch, mm -hmm. nooch. Because no you're, oh, it's super? He ain't got it. He didn't have bar. Yeah, that, okay. that's, it, see. it's correct. But it. in just this, the unusual situation where Iron Fist has access to a full screen super. Uh, <laughs> just a, a tiny bit, a tiny bit, like, it's catching you off guard there. Yeah, but that was good. That was the best Phoenix play I've seen. See, ooh, that was a good pattern. Hold on, wait a minute. Look ooh. at that. He, 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 he give us he give us a little something when he want to. Watch this. Super jump height, but he did not super jump. So he's not as high as he can be. So he's cool to be able to go back, forward, up, down, and actually be able to get down. Goes yep. all the way across. Sees if he had mag blast right here, he's going to get hit by the same situation we talked about eight games ago. Yep. So he looks at the player one icon and says, I cannot come down right here. So I'm going to go back this way and I'm going to come down like that. Quick. That's like, you have to be Snappy. adaptive like that. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good assist call too. Hold on. Okay. Let's see what's up. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, he does the eye dash. You bike. see that up, up, back dash plus assist mag blast. I wonder what the approach is. Hey, this is a good approach. You see that? Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it. Oh, good block. And good hit. See, okay. I'm mm -hmm, with it. That mm -hmm. was good. I'm gonna drop out. That's fine. No, nope. let it go. Let it go. <laughs> let it go. See, he, see, he went for which is not a thing. It's just not a thing. So Magneto is also one of the few characters who cannot meaty or wake up. So like if anybody ever goes at you like that with Magneto and it's not an assist, it is your turn. Look at that. Like, that was never a thing. You couldn't meet him with the mag blast. You couldn't meet him with any button. And you couldn't meet him with the tri jump. Even if you had rolled backwards, this tri jump would have missed. And if you just woke up staying light, he's dead. Mm -hmm. And so, like, anybody who gets hit by Magneto raw like that, 
it's not a thing. Yeah, I, I just could have wake up like, just for the record. Like, I, I my magneto meetings. Like, yeah. Oh, does it? Yeah, I'm, I'm built okay. different though. I'm, 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 I'm different. Oh, I get it. I get it. A little scrappy hit there. Didn't make make anything of it. I like <laughs> disruptor. First disruptor. Ten games in. First disruptor. Look at that. He is using this rock assist very well. Out of super. Out of super. Okay, I'm with it. I was way too late to spend it. Oh, okay. I'm with it. And it's this this situation. Dorm TAC him or X to him, and that's the game. I think I TAC here. Just because I'm old school. He does, and he gets the down, but he he doesn't complete it, I remember. He's in the right position there. Oh, Oh, no. it says, see that dorm is just he got a little weird situation. Yeah, I, I got I got those I though. It. I was like mashing it. Just, yeah. just to pat myself on the back. Right <laughs> yeah, now. I don't. Y'all ain't never go see me do no infinite. I ain't got them no more. It's gone. <laughs> I would dash up forward with Magneto. Boop, I'd have been gone. I'm gone, baby. Yeah. I'm gone. Yeah, but Spotty don't got no combos, so. Look at me, I'm mashing right now. I'm mashing so hard. That was good, though. Like, he went on the defense. That's also a thing that I do. When my opponent pop X-Factor level 3, and you'll see me do this against Virgil, too. This is why I don't get hit by Virgil. If you pop X-Factor level 3, one thing I am not going to do is press any buttons that aren't yeah, run away mm -hmm. and so like and people don't know how to deal with that it's it's difficult because like the whole premise of having an x-factor character is scaring your opponent and uh if your opponent won't get scared then you probably can't hit them that was good and look at the defense let's go yeah one thing Oh Ooh, oh yeah and yeah. That... See, I think that's the first. Is that first grab of the game? Yeah, that's the first time see, I've I've on, had to dash a grab. Let's, let's pop that. Hold on, hold on. We can't we can't pass that up. First of all, okay. Now I, I love some defense. I'm gonna block. It's my favorite part of the game. I'm gonna block. Boop boop. All right, boom. Dive kick. Push block. He shouldn't have pushed block that early. Dive kick again because he gets it again. Different push block. And Sparty, so uh, adaptation right here. Sparty gets pushed, and I'm assuming you assumed it was the same push block as before. So you did crouch light to keep the turn, but it happened to yeah. be a different push block. Mm -hmm, Is that mm -hmm. accurate? Yeah. Okay. But done and completely then, brainlessly. Yeah. Yeah. That, but without any intelligence behind it. But I mean, it, that should have been crouch short, short. Uh, Iron Fist, I would do a regular mag blast right here. No dash. Let's see. Okay, coming back down is fine. He could grab that if he didn't push block. And then, and so that was good. Like, Sparty went through like two, went through three Yomi levels. So we learned this from, uh, <laughs> we had a, me, Zay, and some other people went down to uh, Georgia and we were at the uh, some brown kid had we had like a Atlanta session, and this is where we learned about incomings and uh, how to like defend against push block and like how to elevate the Yomi as your opponent shows you that you need to elevate it. And so this is a perfect example. Yomi meaning. Um, like what is the meta game? What's the game behind the game mm -hmm. that we're playing? So Sparty runs up and he wants pressure. He gets an opportunity, dive kick alone first. He sees the opponent's going to push block. That was level one. So he gets another attempt. You can safely assume your opponent is going to do the same thing they did before. So Sparty does level two, which is dive kick crouch short. Then you get the assist call and you get another chance right here. Boom. So I'm going to dive kick again. And because the last two times my opponent stayed on the ground, now I can read a ground grab. Boop. Look at that. Three Yomi levels, right? And that was two seconds. That was two seconds that Sparty made all those decisions and all those analyses mm -hmm. in two seconds of Marvel. And that's what people Ooh. today are not doing. Like yep. you, you got to have the nuance. 
You you're making Marvel. me sound kind of kind of good at this. That's what happened. I, hey, game recognized game now. I don't lie about Marvel. Speak, speak good, speaking of speaking good. of game, I don't know if you do have the Twitch chat, but Zebu's just dropped in. Hey. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm, a, we, I'm talking our shit, Zay. I'm talking our shit. We're trying to get these people educated. Boop. Ooh. Oh, a little off right there. I wonder what Inkla's um, wake up. Oh, my God. Ooh. That was insane. That was actually OD. Um, I wonder what his wake up strategy is because he gets hit on wake up a lot. And I wonder if he's just assuming he's dead because he got hit. Because like, I don't even see him doing anything. Jesus, I hate that. Oh, it's the worst, isn't it? Oh, I hate it. We just got, we got a side to this. I got away with all that. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I, th I think I even said yeah, it in the commentary. I uh, yeah, I heard you. <laughs> in in my head, I was thinking, right, X Factor side TAC tech. Let's do it. And <laughs> I just side TAC. <laughs> I think he was expecting me to do the X Factor tech. I think I was expecting. Me ah, to do the okay. Tech, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Up forward. Look. Oh, ink. Oh. You okay? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. So in the first to ten, y'all know I, I ain't even do this on purpose, but I pointed out the no disruptor, the half hazard flight pattern, ninety nine second decisions, and assist calls. Why this man just did all four in the first one second of this match? <laughs> Watch this up forward, ninety nine seconds. Watching the icon up, oh, I'm in a bad situation. Let me get to the ground. Up, oh, back, back dash, call assist, disruptor. Let's go. Come on for the adaptation. Yo, OD, I'm with it. I'm with everything that just happened. Let's go. I'm with everything that just happened. All right, and look at this. And now we have a new, a new Yomi level unlocked. That's how you There's fight Wolverine. Disruptor game. rocks Disruptor. Because <laughs> yeah. it ain't nothing he can do about it. I need that healing factor. Not oh, nice. Mm -hmm. I'm, getting, I'm getting tense just watching Magneto walking forwards. Because it's scary. It really is. Like, it's a lot. Because there's so many options. And he just played in a way that he has not played the whole set. So I too would have been scared. Caught him push blocking mm. by accident. Not my intention. I meant to cross up, but that was a good push block. Ain't no way I'd have blocked that uh, cross up right there. Oh, so I, that was all so cheap. That was, and it was conditioned though, like. I don't know. I don't know what made that dark matter so scary, but I got hit by that here. Like I don't know what that was, but I would have got hit. Like that that is just absolutely disgusting, right? That's there. crazy. Yeah, I'd have got hit by that. And we got ourselves a spell and he's he's stuck on the ground and it's it's which way, baby? Okay. Which way? Oh, so he yeah, I'd have got hit. Yeah, oh, he's, I, he's I got clapped. I got clapped. He's I trying to brawl that cross up. And get caught, yeah. caught for the accidental push block. And you know, you you lose to to guesses sometimes. I know you say you don't you don't guess, but sometimes I'm making you guess, and you lose. Yeah, uh, that move, was move that was a guessy situation. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that was the out of guess right there. I really want to scratch my arm. I really want to scratch my arm. Yes, I can scratch my arm. No, I can't actually. That, that's the opposite of scratching my arm. Now I have to do a combo. God damn it! I just want to go back and yep. show y'all. This is not a thing. See, you see, there is no meaty. Every character can neutral jump, neutral tech jump, and there is no mix. And then you get punished. No, I can't ah. do that. That's the opposite of scratching my arm. Now I have to do a combo. God damn uh, it. Is. It's that situation where you would have been back to two thirds of the screen, calling uh, crouch, oh, crouch, crouch medium crouch. rocks and disruptor. Oh, yeah. and I would have been full yeah, screen yeah, yeah, yeah. waiting to, yeah, just, just, just piss you off at full screen. Like, I, I personally think, like, Wolverine destroys uh, sorry magneto destroys wolverine uh, just the control that he has in the match i think yeah. just but only if the magneto player has the control 
Yeah. You know? Once you start talking uh, yeah, situations and scrappiness and play oh, a matchup. Look, look how many more hits he's gotten since he started using Disruptor. It has opened up a whole new part of the game that was not available the first 13 games. Ooh, I would have got hit. I don't know what that was. <laughs> what does he do here? Because I, I, I'm just waiting for that green G to build me some blocking blocking meter. But actually, he plays this one really well. Do I lose yeah, this one too? Yeah, he's playing this correctly. I don't know. Because I, I spend is this, here. This is fine. Just because health is health is uh, important when he's down to that low. Oh, health. that flame carpet was smart. Mm. I'd have got hit. But I put myself back in a bad position because I have to get Dorm back out because I'm worried that any random super with with me having no bar will kill Dorm. And then this is this is this uh, winning situation for him. One mix up. I also think in the situation. Mm. Oh, that's fine. In the situation with Iron Fist, just like I was saying before, like if you put yourself right there, you want Doom to hit you. Like, you know, there was no reason for Iron Fist to be where he was. And he got hit for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll openly admit I put my Iron Fist in some uh, dodgy situations. Sometimes, like when your character is that bad, the only way to actually get a hit is yeah. to do dumb yeah. stuff. That's unexpected and just yeah. I love the way he is using rocks now. Look at this; it's just beautiful. He's not approaching with Magneto unless rocks is on the screen, and that's what Champ talked about when he pioneered Ooh. rocks for this uh this matchup. That's what he talked about. Look at the flight pattern he changed. That was the first time he's used that flight pattern with Wolverine behind him. To lure him into getting hit by the S. Yeah. So the Yomi is advancing from Inkla. Really unfortunate here that he didn't get that kill on Wolverine. Yeah. Oh boy. Cross up. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that's, a, that's a lie. I could have been more up than that, but it's pretty good. Can I get a stalking flare? I don't want to risk it. Mm -hmm. I'll do a no mash one of those. Do and you can those. kill off this hit. Oh, yeah, well, okay, I thought it was Phoenix. My bad. Do, do, do. Mm -mm. Stick a flame okay. carpet down. People want to get out of there. They don't want nothing to do with that flame carpet. But I bet if he had Doom, he would have fucked that. <laughs> would have would have been coming out if it had been Doom coming last. Mm. Oh, my God. Oh. I don't know. Jesus. Oh. 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 Down back. Uh, he tried it too. I saw it. I'm with it. Now, down back was the play and he did it. Oh. oh. Such a big risk for me there. And he, he sort of, he, he's such a good percentage on that disruptor. Like, Tiger knee in it. Playing a little bit more passive maybe. But like, it's such a rare thing for a Wolverine to like make himself vulnerable like that what even happened yeah. there on that? not a hard tag right there i don't know why he didn't hard tag bro this game's amazing cross up blocks it good push block as well yeah i'd have tagged the shit out of this right oh here. you can't tag here i'm out i'm out she's I, somebody she, would have tagged i don't she, know she, she's she's hey, trapped right, right there i would have been in that bitch <laughs> i, I, even, I even like made a comment on it it was he was absolutely trapped there no getting out Mm -mm, I would. I'd have got out. I don't know how. You would have found a way. Out. I ain't doing. I ain't doing that. <laughs> that mix up didn't look like it was none of my business. So I'd have got the fuck out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cheat. Uh, Cheat. This one. Which side? Which oh side? no, not oh, like this. He's still in the okay. Air. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 
jump, 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 jump. You need to He's going to be jump, pulling jump. some shit out just all of a sudden. I'm with it. He was waiting. Right. He was trying to lull you into a false sense of security with these 15. Oh! <laughs> with these 15 wins. I hate when that happens. Me too. I'm, I'm getting it all the time on Hitbox. Man. One more time, which way? I don't know. Oh, like front. Uh, cross up. No. Oh my god. <laughs> it, it was intentional. Jeez. Yeah, he, he just got hit I by a, a dodgy stagger. Oh, uh, that was, was a lot. All of that, all of that. Empty low. <laughs> I'd, have brought, I'd have brought Magneto in I'm with um, I'm just gonna say, I need to the Dirty Snow. That yeah. That's another thing. People people shockwave him like, in. That is very like, unsafe. Like, yeah. like, I use the Dirty Snow like, to get him in. Yeah. Very situationally Tempest. punishable. Completely messed it up. Although Dirty Snow, you know, if you do it wrong, you get bust up the same way. Right, we gotta mix up. Oh boy. But yeah. Okay, that was the first. Okay, that was a good uh dash up on incoming. Mm. I'd have let that rock. I'd I'd have the, the burden of proof was on you right there. Oh, if he if you had got over there, I'd yeah. have X Factor, but I would not have X Factor beforehand. Yeah, I think I think for me to be able to punish that without I, you could dive kick I was some dive kick to the ground. H H Berserker slash probably would have done something. Yeah, we would have done something, but up here, like, it's pushed me so far, like... Oh, never mind. You were full, full screen. Yeah. I thought you were. Oh, I would have had to mind. super, super, at which point you can just react to X-Factor. Um, yeah. So, so my, my punish, preferably, there would have been to be sort of, like, mid-range. If I could have, like, jump dive kicked... Not jump dive, jump blocked, push blocked it, and then got down, like, it's, it's tight, yeah. though. So, yeah, letting that rock, probably the better decision. Yeah. Because that X Factor is a precious resource, and you only get one. Especially in this particular situation, you ain't got no assist or anything. Yeah, you want to keep that as and and you have five bars, so that means you could actually like hit Dormammu and kill, still not using X Factor. Yeah, you know. But again, just strategy and experience. We'll get there. Yeah, I tried to do instant overhead. Mm -hmm. like dash, instant overhead. I'm seeing and progress I'm every game, and I'm I'm here for it. Caught. It don't matter if you end up winning or losing. <laughs> he ain't losing the same way twice, and I'll take it. Oh, that was new. I had a guy hit. That's the second time. Uh, given that this is going to be like one bar kill. Oh, oh. No, it's not. oh. Run, Don't. run away. I'm talking too much shit. Oh, that's a... Oh, my God. I hate Dorm. Oh, my word. Yeah. Versus the Phoenix yes, team, that's just done one yes. of those is possible. Big oh, yes. S. <laughs> Teleport came at the wrong okay. time. Tricky. Oh, we're gonna get this no yeah, the hits um, and deterioration. Okay. I mean, that was going to be what it was going to be. I didn't know the combo myself. Shit. Oh. I've seen that exact block with Iron Fist on that, that M overdrive. Uh, it reminds me of uh, Captain Commando, because he blow your ass clean to Timbuktu. <laughs> I never played no MV MVC2. I've only heard things. Oh, yeah, this is where I vomit. <laughs> that actually disgusting S. Yeah, that was good. That S was good. And yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I had a try jump right there. That would have been the first try jump of the set y'all seen for me. Because that man was blocking an assist in the corner. The only time that mix up is a thing. <laughs> Get red. Get red. So right now, is Magneto's doing more, and I'm starting to feel like I need to kill that thing. Mm. Just, just to be on the safe side, like you know, I'm, I'm, I'm up seventeen one. I'm not, I'm not feeling the threat, but <laughs> also that Magneto's starting to do some stuff that's that's getting pesky, pesky hits. Right. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Okay. That was a beautiful tag. Shit. Yeah. I would just, I would like to, oh, okay. See, he be just coming up. Like, where the fuck he get that from? <laughs> 19 games in. 
The fuck was that? Oh god, what have I done? It's fine. This is it. I've, I've unlocked his uh, his uh, sixth sense. He's what the? He's in the matrix right now. What's happened there? Oh, I've completely oh this. is this a punish? Okay. Completely fucked it. Grab. That, that was okay. a complete fuck up. I did not mean to get that. Super. I got baited. I don't even know what I meant to get. I think I'd have grabbed, and I don't know why, but I would have. Well, that's because you're a scumbag. Was spending? Probably. Right. I, I said it right there in in the in the chat. Like, sorry, in the uh, the vod. He's spending. Like this, there's only one way he loses this game with X Factor and Dark Phoenix, and it's if he gets his Phoenix killed. You have no. Well, that dude, they ain't got. Yeah, you're right. That's risky. Never mind. I just looked at the resources and I'm like, X. Oh, <laughs> the, the one time. Oh boy, I tell you what. Oh, I don't know about this part. Oh, get baited. Get set up. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. It's, it's so scrappy. Okay. <laughs> I'm with it. I'd have done it. Yep. Do another and f uh, finger laser. Up. Oh, he want to win. I'd have done finger laser. Oh, uh, I'm coming in super. I'm coming in super, baby. Coming in hot. Yeah. Like and right there, like I, I, I feel like I'm justified in saying this. That that that, that, fi that fireball should have been floating up to her right there. Nah, 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 nah. Why didn't it? She, nah, 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 nah. Why, why she's, didn't it? She's destroyed whole planets. <laughs> like, why didn't it? It's only Zero that happens to you. You kill Zero and the fireball stays on his corpse. Fire, baby. Nah, 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 nah. So, she said, she said, I'm going to show you what the fuck is up. Like, that should have been 18-1. One. If I ever won that game, I reckon I, I took this set 25-1. But he scabs of lucky victory there. <laughs> She took, she got hit. It just wasn't enough. Oh, uh, I didn't deserve that much. It was so scrappy. Out of context. That was good, though. Uh, we I mean, this is where I started like showing off my face here on the stream. There it is. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I'm about to see some assist getting hit. hit. <coughs> oh, oh, Jesus. It's fine, though. The disruptor worked out. Soft knockdown. It didn't. It, he got lucky. <laughs> I wouldn't say it worked out. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh boy, cross up. Oh. I tried okay. to save that. Oh. Yeah, make it work. I'd have got hit. Oh lord. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I want to see the incoming. Wait a minute. She, she's dashing. Okay. <laughs> Biological clock. The fact that he is not in the air right now lets me know that, like, this not going to be what I think it's going to be. It's not going to be meaty dive kick, like, from here. So yeah. now you got to watch for something else. Jesus Christ. That's so fast. I don't know. It wasn't no way. It wasn't no way. Yeah. It wasn't no way. That, that's like 160% 100, speed or something stupid. Back to it. Yeah. Start, you you was dead. The, uh, start the uh, streak back up. We want to start streaking again. Now, how do I lose two more games? Oh. Okay. Oh, look at that. Come on, little try jump. The little, the little mix up that could. I suppose, I suppose one thing that i uh, not really come up yet, like I've been doing it to him, but he's not really done it to me. Right here, he gets this mag blast. And he uh -huh. right, he rightfully doesn't try to chase after like Iron Fist's corpse, the, the body, and hit him. Uh -huh. uh, but right now, like I am Wolverine with with nothing to my name. Like I have no money, no resources. Uh -huh. Like I can do a Berserker Slash, and like, that's it. That's it no money. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, a, I'm a poor Wolverine, and I only get my Iron Fist I'm back. I'm a poor boy, too. I get my Iron Fist yeah. back here. But no, but that's the thing about Magneto. Like, again, I, and people laugh. He is the fairest top tier. Uh, he can't, he cannot force you to get hit. So, like, in that situation, yes, you have nothing, but he doesn't either. Like, the only thing he could do is run up and try jump, which isn't real. Mm-hmm. 
Like he can't, and and I think they. I just played Magneto in Marvel two again for the first time in many many years mm-hmm. yesterday, and I think they did such a good job making a different Magneto for this game than the previous game because that tri jump in Marvel two was free. It was nothing nobody could do about it. (laughs) And so they, I think, is a nuance of this game that they made it the opposite. You can never hit it unless you earn it. Whereas in Marvel 2, it is your birthright to try to. I I was going to ask you a question then. I realized how stupid and pointless it would have been. I was about to say, like, what, 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 what frame? Uh, does his uh, jump light start up in MVC2? His jump light. Oh, I don't even think it matter. Ain't nothing faster than I knew that. you wouldn't know. It's, I knew you wouldn't know. I don't, no, I have no idea. It doesn't like, matter. That, that's the kind of stuff it, that it I have. Matter. No, I was thinking about this a minute ago. I wanted to tell you the list of things that it took me a really long time to learn. So I did not know in this game that you didn't have to tech... Yeah, forward I, I told you for this. a forward throw or back for a back throw i it took a long time for me to know that i was trying to if they did a back throw i was doing back h if they were doing forward throw i was doing forward h oh and i thought that was how you had to do it did not know how to alpha counter until like two years ago or something like it, that. it was did that sorry yeah the the alpha counter thing was yeah, uh it was the alpha counter I remember I was playing with Zay and he had just picked up zero and Zay is a very disciplined player. The probably the most disciplined zero um, that zero player that I've ever played against. And I have been, I have probably been playing against him for months with his zero team. And I finally go, how did the command dash go that far? Like I've been studying this dash. It's supposed to stop right here. I stood right there so I could block the buster in front. He goes, oh, he's got a short one and a long one. I go, excuse me? He has two on the ground? So how the fuck I'm supposed to know which one he doing? And they're like, you don't. That's why it's broken. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. That's I it. was so mad. And wait till you hear about I the three uh, the three berserker commitment. slashes that Wolverine has. Man, I was so... But you can't hit zero during here. The berserker slash, I can do something about that. Zero just be zzz. Zzz, 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 Man, zzz, get zzz. out of here. Throw that bitch. Then. I also... Did you, in Marvel 2 to tech roll, you have to do fireball two buttons. I still tech roll like that in this game. I can't stop it. What? I cannot just go forward or back. I always fireball tech. It's been it 13 makes no years. Difference. It makes no difference in this game, but I every time I tech, I'm doing forward fireball or back fireball. Oh my god. I swear Ezra told me it was a DP motion. The d- in uh in Marvel 2? Yeah. I think it's I don't know. Like I said, I don't be knowing the particulars. <laughs> I just know how to make it happen. I don't know. You make I'm it not happen. finna act like I know. I That's just it. know what I be pressing. Mmm, yeah. Jesus. Now, the problem here is that, like, Inkler's getting pressured. No, nah, he's neutral. cooked, baby. Like, he has to perform, and if he doesn't, he gets hit. Yeah, I'm talking about the pressure I'm making him feel here. Like, he's... Mm. See, good. I think there was a better option than yeah. that. Like, you gotta go through your options by, like, least committal to most committal. So if she has a dash that costs her nothing, that needs to be your first option. Like your first choice on incoming is, is my opponent doing a meaty that I need to block? If they're not, then I can dash. Mm. Those are the only two decisions I'm choosing between when I drop on that screen. And then I start a different flow chart of decisions or a decision tree after I choose that correctly. Yeah. Like there was no reason to super first. There were so many other things you could have done before that. Yeah, I can see that. 
They'll, oh, better than just waiting anyway. It, the super in the first place, but yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll give it progression, that. progression through the options. Yeah, and now I suppose there's a little bit of pressure. Like I've only got six games left to play with here. I need to, I need to perform, and I've, I'm running out of exper experimentation time. <laughs> From from his perspective, at least. Too late to the spot. Mm, mm, mm. Right, we have a hit here. We should be getting a TAC. We're killing. Is that go kill? Oh, okay. Guess it. Still reset me. And then, ooh. Oh, I like the see. Look at that layers. I think I think I've had the same thought watching it now as I did when it when it when it hit me. The the <laughs> the like. Oh, he's he's messed up this welcome mixer. So what the hell is that? And then suddenly uh -huh. rocks are on me, and another mag blast, and it, it caught me frame wise. Perfect. Uh huh. Blue, blue, blue. That combo. That's one of those where I felt like it comboed. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Again, now this is game if okay. he hits this TAC. I went side. I, was, I went side too. So I'm with you. Yeah, here. I, I don't think this, this. I also would have done the other one. I'd have done like the regular. Oh my god! I I wouldn't have went for the infinite version. I'd yeah. have done the regular. You know, fall down rocks in the super. Yeah, I I would have been personally hitting him in the middle of his body here. Do a butter gun and then foot dive and then stand heavy and disrupt her for the kill. Uh, See, even... I wouldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't have thought of all of that. That's a lot. <laughs> that's that's too much. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> but my character's dead anyway, and he gets the hit here. Are we going to die? Please tell me I die here. Oh, yeah, that's good. X Factor level three? I don't think. Yeah, you can't. Oh, no, not like this. Too much. Not like this. Oh, okay. That was a good assist call. Yeah. The up forward assist. That was good. Oh. Uh, This is not as good. Oh, okay. Out of super jump up, and then you got to. This is something he don't have with Doom yeah. is the finger laser game. Yeah, I'm not, you are not gonna find me on the ground with Doom unless no. my opponent is full screen away from me. No reason for you to be in the air coming down there. I'm, I'm, you just need to stall my X Factor 3 out, and the game is done. Right. The man ain't wearing a cape just for show. You, good God. I'm getting wise to the disruptors. We've had a couple of these big, big, deep super jumps from me. I'm just going to, yeah, be sure on this. Bring you back in. I don't know. Oh, well. I didn't know it was cross up, but I there still probably would have lost. <laughs> yeah, but you, you would have been like, oh, this is online. This is, uh, this is the, the MS. I just, I don't think I can play Phoenix because you got a mash. Like, it's part of it. And I just can't, I don't, I couldn't see myself just going mash crouch light. No, just, no, no mashed taters in your house? Uh uh. I can't do it. I cannot. I just, <laughs> avoid in the carbs. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. That's, that's too much. We, we, okay. We, and the block, that was good. We, we saw me on the ground right there and then. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. just like Remy Martin would have done. Let's go. I was like, you know, sometimes you just feel like you should be using like a button. I don't know about this part. Down. What are we gonna do? Oh, Phoenix is dead. Oh yeah, of course. This is a uh, Reminkler Martin. Just had the vibe going. Thank you for the pity laugh. I appreciate that. Look at that. See? Ooh, ooh. Look, come on, I see it. It's almost like you watched my match See, video. Got a dark matter out there and it didn't come out proper. Well, because I got smacked in the face before, I think. Or maybe Magblast beat it. I don't know what happened, but it, it, it didn't win for me when it should have won for me. Mm -hmm. It was nice pressure that I saw with the Magneto coming in there. Like the, like the, the floating. Yeah. Like thinking about it I here. Agree. like Floating above Dormammu in that space, like just above his head is, is practically evil. So even when the, the situation got a bit skewed here being there and going across and then down like it just delays the the come down that little bit like instead of coming <laughs> down forward air dash yeah. into s going forwards and then down just delays it and if i'm trying to anti air you're gonna catch me if i'm trying to teleport like he's still safe and you've still like pressuring if i don't get there and it's that principle of one third 
Like, when you go one-third, it just make your opponent do shit. Like, why did you X-Factor right there? Like, when you're at the... You like that? <laughs> you know? Like, it just make your opponent mm. do shit. Especially as Magneto. Yeah. And that is one of his best... What I always <laughs> say about Magneto is his best tool is people's memory of Marvel 2. Because, like, there was no threat. In any the last three hits that you took, yep. there was no threat. But for some reason, mentally, you just be like, "Oh my God, he's about to kill me," mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's not. He, uh, I think, I think I, I'm seeing like a delicious, juicy, uh, whatever it is, as a carrot in front of me, and he's, he's dangling it there. <laughs> and I'm, I'm ready, I'm ready to snatch that baby up. I want it, uh, and it comes right no, here. That's, that's all. That's all part of it. That's what he wants you to want. Like, like Inkler, <laughs> and you notice it with a lot of Magnetos when they start learning Magneto. Uh, they do light, light, medium, heavy, or they do light, medium, heavy, and it's sort of like this here, like that. See, I got a dog Wait, hang on a minute. How do, oh, I got hit here. That's the situation after it. So right before I X Factor here, where is it? And I've already X Factor. Damn it. So that I'm thinking, okay, uh, now's the time to X Factor because a medium's about to come, and I'm going to punish. But he stops and he and he moves, so it's two jabs. Ah, I, I, I've been okay. trying to say like, look at look at F, F champ. He doesn't do medium unless he's already hitting. No. He's ju he's jabbing yeah. and then he's away if he's not already got the hit. And he doesn't he continue away, yeah. like you said. He doesn't continue trying to hit these high lows. He's jab jab. Has he hit? Yes. Can continue with the medium if he's not. He's out of there and he's he's setting up again. He's creating his space. He's getting his neutral. He's watching what you're doing. Like he's back out again. And Inkler doing a couple of jabs there and then seeing that they're not hitting and getting back out there, it baited my X factor because I was just ready to take that carrot. He dangled it there and then he hits me with the stick. <laughs> he he smicks, smicks. And that is. So it's a pimp cane. That's he the pimp stick. whole thing. Like, like it's just he's using he's using your own inhibitions to defeat you. Mm -hmm. he's, he's gone back to the similar mix up to the uh, the one that hit Dorm two games ago, whenever it was. He is just using Magneto a lot better in general. Yeah. Oh. This part of the set. Uh, X. Best I can do. Oh, get fucked. Get baited. Yeah, rest in, rest in pepperonis, mate. Right? Get baited, dude. All right, I like this bit. Whenever it. I get to a set and I know that, right, that's the, that's, the, that's the games they win, I get to now enjoy myself winning. Let's just keep, keep the ball be going. Uh, yeah, I agree. That's my favorite part of any set. I'm, I'm about to do some self-love, some self-care. I respect it. Oh, I don't know how I feel now. Okay. Doom getting beat yeah. up. Yeah, damn. <laughs> I tried to hit him again on the floor down there, backwards. Ooh. Oh, Inkla is playing well in this latter part of the set. That was hot. When it, the Phoenix don't even matter no more. I'm just liking this Mag Doom. Well, that's it. Like the the, the games that he wins, uh, there's no involvement really with Phoenix there. Yeah. And that's again the price you pay for not doing the like you have to do homework to play Phoenix. If you don't yeah. do homework, she's not gonna play. But I mean I mean for the most part, like the games that he's losing that are within his control, the, the choices were all Mag Doom. Like the Phoenix choices, yeah. like he didn't have that in his in his repertoire. So I can't really say yeah. that oh he lost this game because of Phoenix. It, right. it, you made you made the choice not to sit and do your homework beforehand. Like the choices that you lost on were the ones that you made with Mag Doom. Yeah. And he... Oh, it's it's fine. And for him. again, with Mag Doom being the worst top tier shell, you can't play those two and then also have a liability at the back. The only reason this team, a liability like, this is the only viable Mag Doom team, like, yeah, I, well, Milky's, I'll say it's Mag Doom Phoenix, Mag Doom Dante, Mag Doom Virgil, like, and because Virgil does not contribute to the Magneto situation, nor, like, Magneto, Mag Doom's strategy is to run away and build meter 
and Phoenix rewards that. Whereas Virgil can die no matter how many meters he has. Yeah. Whereas like you're playing for something when you put Phoenix at the back. Mm -hmm. And so to play this team that's best utilized with Phoenix and not be able to play Phoenix, like you're just playing two characters, you know, with a very fragile third character. (laughs) And so it's a, he's doing well considering the circumstances. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, like, like it, it's something that he's he's performed with against players who are very good in the European scene. Uh, mm-hmm. and versus fighting, he beat Shuffle. Uh, Shuffle probably, I thought, was going to like lose to me in grand finals or something like that. Um, he came so close to beating Doppelghost, who is just like like the craziest the craziest player. Um, like he he beat Ezla uh, in like super close matches. Like he's he's not like he's having these issues versus other players. It's just that at this point, um, obviously I have I have the pedigree. Mm-hmm. I have I have the chops that he he's 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 coming up against a wall that he needs to adapt and evolve to to now overcome. And I think I think he will. I think he will develop beyond this point here and start becoming a problem for me. So too. Like. From just what I've seen, you know, in this set and having a set this long where there it is consistently proven what you need to go practice. This is how I got to where I am, like having matches to go back and know that the person I'm playing against is playing consistently well Mm -hmm. the whole time. That's how you isolate variables and figure out how to get better. Yeah. Uh, and Remy says this is how he got to where he is, and where he is is good enough to beat me at Evo. What do you remember the score between me and you? We played like twenty five games, didn't we? Thirty games. Mm-hmm. And I, I feel it like was, the score. I feel like I was on like ten, and you were on like twenty four. Yeah, I was going to say it was high versus low. I mean, yeah, but this is the worst matchup you could play against me in particular. Like I was forged in the fire of Mag Doom versus Wolverine. Yeah. Like ain't nobody hitting me with Wolverine. Noel won't even play Wolverine against me oh, most shit. of the time. No, nah, I'd, I'd, if you came to my house, like I'd play you like until I was beating you. I'd, I'd, I'd beat that ass. Yes. I'd find a way. I don't know if I don't know if anybody's. I'm trying to think who played who has played me till they were beating me. I don't know if the, I can't recall the time where that yeah. happened. Like I, my my endurance, like the longer we play, it's it's not going to be good for my opponent. You're, you're, <laughs> it's you're not good. Your mind is well suited. It is a finely tuned uh, piece of equipment that will adapt and understand and uh, delineate everything you see there. But my body is what learns for me. My body learns through the pain that I feel. And I will gradually overcome all barriers. Like I don't think there's a player in the, on this planet who, yes, you might beat me first to five, you might beat me first to ten, first to a hundred, but it, by the time we've played five, like first to a hundreds, I'm going to be finding some stuff that you didn't know Wolverine Iron Fist could that's do. That's what I want. Like, people, won't, people don't do that no more. There is, there is, like, there is that's, no that's barrier I can't do. overcome. Like, like I will play Jabril until Jabril is worried about like like Wolverine in neutral. <laughs> like I will play Ray Ray until like there's nothing left of Ray Ray until he's the empty shell on the floor he's just a bucket head on the floor right there like but it, it's the one thing that i have a regret over with marvel is that i am british that i live over here and i don't get to play on a regular basis in any sort of connection that i'd appreciate uh, all those top players yeah. in america because the scene is so rich it's still yeah. so good and i can't just it's go good. and you know like beat my head against the wall like i want to like like the old days like, and just like have someone like beat me like 50 to 10 and be like, all right, okay, I need to work on this. I need that feeling. I need it. Um, I agree. It's the best part of this game to me. And it's, and it's, that's I how, that's, it. that's how I was raised. And that's how I was, uh, that's, that's how my daddy raised me. Uh, no, like, like that's, <laughs> that's how like Zach Bennett, like he beat the shit out of me. It's how like, Aliun beat the shit out of me. It's one of Miles beat the shit out mm-hmm. of me. Like these players just destroyed me until I've, did something that worked and then worked around that and very you know like created variations on it and developed it and that's why i don't mind like like i'll play pretty much anybody of any any skill level and you know it could be 20 nil it could be 50 nil could be a set like this Mm -hmm. like whatever it is like players need that wall to 
bash themselves up against mm-hmm. just, just to overcome barriers sometimes you don't even know what the barrier is you think you, you think you are hot shit but you need someone to humble you a bit uh, <laughs> just just a problem over here that, no, nobody's humbled me in well the last four man, years at, at a minimum that is one of my that that's my sole purpose when <laughs> i go to events that's why people be wondering why I be popping off like I do in casuals. It's because y'all really not seeing me, man. Like yeah, you ain't that nice. People, not compared to Remy bro, Martin. Bro, ain't nobody seeing me. If you haven't won Evo, baby, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Like I, I was like, be, you made you made top like, eight oh, at CEO. You- <laughs> <laughs> Say it again. You made top eight at CEO. That doesn't matter to Remy Martin. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. You're not gonna see me in the long set. <laughs> it's a, I, I will out. I'll be outlasting people, and you know, folks be like, "Oh, well, you know, you just keep getting lucky with this." And I'd be like, "Okay, you can think that everything I do is calculated." <laughs> people be thinking like people, and you know, I, I mean, I I think it is. It's a part of the culture now to troll and everything is a joke and everything mm. is downplaying. When I talk about Marvel, I only speak the truth. Yep. I, I like, you know, and if you want to believe that it's luck, if you want to believe I'm guessing, if you want to believe I'm mashing, then you just keep losing. That's it. Like, <laughs> Let when me I, tell when you, I, when I sit down to play if Marvel. If you want to. When I sit down to play Marvel like that, it is it is truth that comes out of my 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 stick or my hitbox or whatever. Like you are getting you are getting everything I got. Yep, I, I, t- I, I tell out. my locals, I every game is grand finals of Evo. Every game to me is grand finals of Evo. Like we got some, I got something to do. We up here to to get some shit done. I ain't pussyfooting around. <laughs> Sick. Oh, uh, right. Let's get back to this. Uh, we got, we got what? Three, two and a half games left. Three games. Where are we here? We've missed the start of this this game. Oh yeah, we got a sub. That was what happened. Uh, mystery subs, and then stuff happens behind the sub window. Oh my god, my knee! I'm so lucky though. Did you catch that? But like, again, you know, you can't. Magneto can't. Yeah, you're right. He has a high jab. He cannot do that. I don't is. know if there's another character. I don't know if there's another character in the game with a mashable jab that doesn't extend to the ground. And again, like that was purposeful Nova? in his design. Is Nova the they, same that, way? Like the, who else? Nova. No, Nova's extends really far down. Does it? Would it hit Crouch and Wolverine all the time? Really far down and really far up. Like but Wolverine does is and... a it, Wolverine is an extreme case though. Yeah, like Magneto's jab does not hit anybody. Oh Ducky, so I don't even like, know if he, so maybe Hulk. So you like Sentinel. You don't, you don't exist yeah, right but yet. they yeah they did not want him to have that ability. So even checking you is a 50 50 for yeah. me. And like that's crazy. Like that should not be a thing in Marvel with as much broke shit going on. But like he just checked you incorrectly. Yeah. Now here, like, oh wait, I gave him five. Is this a pun? That's a oh, I uh, thought that was a birthday. To be I did not X Factor. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, what's happened to the? Have I just given away this game? It looks like I've given away this game. He's in and he's ready to kill, and he doesn't somehow complete here. Do I get a super off? Oh. oh. Okay. How do I win this game? Inkling, no. I think I got a throw. Oh. Ooh. I'm with why it. That was on D. Why? So I'm, I'm asking him why D. right here. Right, this is game. And it's because he's he's got his traps and he ends up Jesus here. Christ. He's He's got bar, so even if he's jabbing for the life of him, there's no way he loses. Like, he can mash jab here. There's nothing I can do in all of these situations. Like, here, why, no reason to move from the out of the corner and up and out. Like, at that range where that, that little jab and the feather comes, we can just do another L trap here. That space, that, that light, I can't get past that feather. If there's a trap on the ground, I can't get in. <laughs> and he can just jab, 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 fireball, jab, 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 fireball, jab, 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 fireball, jab, 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 fireball. And if I do a super, 
to try and get through that. The trap is there, and you can super back, and it's game. Uh, it's just right. it's pure matchup. It's pure knowledge. Like that's it. Yeah, um, Champ talked about the checkmate, and like you know, I think one of the things about modern Mar Marvel players, Parsec players, is that they feel like new new people feel like because this game is so action packed and it's so fast that it's their responsibility to beat you. Mm -hmm. No, sometimes it is just. All you have to do is hold on to the fact that they've lost. Yeah. And like, I see so many people lose because they try to overextend the win. Like, no, the person has already lost. Just go ahead and like, just sit there until yeah. the game ends. You can, if, if you watch some Ray Ray footage where he's looking at one of his, one of his boys play and he's looking at like, mm -hmm. I don't know, Escalante or he's looking at Unknown or whatever, Inside or whatever. Uh, and he's just like, no, 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 you, you, you have Doom now. Like there is, there is no way to lose this, or or they've just got doom left. The only way you lose is, yep. like you said before, if you put yourself in a position to lose, you have to want it uh, right now to lose. It. If you just hold the noose, they have to hang themselves at that point yep. in this match because there's there's no way to lose this unless you actively go out and seek that loss, go and snatch that yep. victory from the jaws of defeat. Yeah. What's uh? We got two games left here. What's the, what's the story? What are we getting here? Ooh, Ooh. that was new for this set. Oh. Yeah. I like it's such a percentage, like low percentage thing. Like I have to, I have to get them really close to the corner for that to become a percentage play. Because he could have just gone like up forwards, and I would have just missed, and he would have been out, and you know landed with rocks because I would have been unable to stop it. Uh, like like. But getting one of those in the set, it's rare. That's the sort of percentage it is. Mm. And then scumbag me just does a berserk slash because, yeah, that's what I do when I drop. Scum you out. Find some sort of scummy option. We make a block and we are safe. Are we going to hard tag here? We waited. Mm. And I'm bringing it back in. Oh, God. Ooh. And on her dome. Oh, no. Oh, boy. There's no way to. If I'd done a pro. If you do like light, light into S, you can combo that, but light S into Drill Claw just doesn't. Uh, no, I've been hit by it before. Combo. I don't remember what Wolverine, but I've been hit by it before. Mm hmm. I played um, Winrich in the Salty Sweet at Evo. Oh. That child is very good. Wait a minute. Is we, it, wait, is that it... felt like. A, some old school Marvel. Uh, is Winrich the one who's doing well in um, Street Fighter right now? Or is that the other? Is it? Child, I don't know. Child I don't prodigy. Watch, there was another. There's like there's two. Well, child no, Winrich is like 22 now. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Or was it? Know. Was it the other child prodigy who's doing well in Street Fighter Six? I swear, I remember one of those playing. Um, in bracket at even is oh Noah Noah the product Noah yeah like it's this. Noah isn't it and I think Noah in bracket in Marvel was playing like shit like but hyping himself up to no no end it was hilarious uh he was on stage <laughs> like everybody's cheering like crazy I think thinking it was like because he's such a guy uh, he's he's that he's that he's that Don and uh, I think it was more that like it's under under like underdog story more that that sort of thing because it's just hilarious how these hits kept coming out for him uh but yeah so winrich <laughs> wait, what does winrich, winrich play uh wolverine doom virgil get out <laughs> old school marvel with but, a doom virgil right there man it's so good and he's new york like He's got that New York discipline and that New York knowledge and fundamentals playing team like a scrub team. It is such a mind <laughs> fuck. It is a mind fuck. Because you think he's going to go crazy on you because he's yeah. playing Wolverine doing Virgil, mm -hmm. but he plays Wolverine like Noel or Justin. Yeah. And it's just like, my God, it's a lot. Yeah. I see. Are you playing rocks? And then in that he matchup? plays Doom Virgil like Chris G. And I'm just like, oh no. It's just it's too much. <laughs> it's like playing Justin and Chris in the same match. Don't want it. Don't want to, don't want to experience that. <laughs> it was fun. It was yeah, good. No, no thank yeah, you. That's a no good thank time. you. Ooh, yeah, we're getting in there. Those 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 uh plank blasts down forward have been have been money for him. 
Yeah. Somehow ran out of flight there. Oh, but... yep, right there. I was going to say that one. That's, that should be one right I, there. I should have stopped that by that point in the set. You he's, should have. He's, he's, he's hit me a few <laughs> times with it. But, you know, I, I like the tried and true sometimes. Oh, that was good. See, he went went for too many. Your turn was over, baby. Just leave it alone. Oh, okay. Yeah, he saw that last time. Oh, man. Oh, boy. I'm hit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. That doesn't look like it should combo, but it did. Oh. Ooh, speaking of things not combo, it's cheap. Cheap. I'm glad I don't cheat. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Crouch heavy. Crouch heavy can be weird, though. It just it just randomly whiffs sometimes. I win this? How? Do I super through something? I like that he's slow playing. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, those disruptors are so dangerous. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Every just... disruptor is dangerous. Oh, wow. <laughs> I wouldn't have known that. I'd have lost. I'd have lost. Uh, no, I feel like like with the amount of flight you had right there. Oh, I I'd have lost. I, I wouldn't have wanted to attack you because again, that's a. I think it's a like Magneto PTSD thing. Like he just don't work like the other characters of his caliber. Yeah, I could. I could see myself getting hit from. No, my, wait, hang on. Why did I just agree with you then? I, I just very absent-mindedly agree with you. He doesn't work like any of the good. Fuck, fuck that. He would have been. Right, man. He you know, down Zero would have come down with that H. Like, uh, Morgan come down with that S. Virgil come down with that Helmbreaker. I could see Magneto trying that S and getting knocked no, clean across town. Not a chance. Not I a chance. This, this isn't. This isn't like Frank West Blue Light Special. It isn't like that. I wouldn't have tried it. I, I just wouldn't have. I've been. I've been burned too many times. Yep. Yep. We let y'all have those. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's our that's our first of twenty five right there that we had. Um, <clears throat> I come away from that thinking like the the neutral with rocks um, mm -hmm. is is an area for development and practicing those assist calls. Uh, like you said, different ways and timings, and then how you follow in with that, um, and then being ready to move away when it's it's no longer your turn away. I I think I do agree with you that. Um, like Magneto, he, he has to take a risk if he wants to jump and then Erdash down and try that try dash like you. Like he has to take that moment where anything's going to hit him. Um, if he's not yeah. covered, you are taking too big a risk. Um, yeah, that was a big thing. Um, Phoenix play obviously needs work. Enough said. Um, there's a little bit of decision making, like big decisions on a Phoenix team that were just costing him. Um, like on my team specifically, hitting Wolverine is is one thing, but then hitting Dawn once Wolvie's dead, like you're leaving me with just Iron Fist. Like you should be, if you are going to make a decision on that, spending the X Factor, saving the bar because Phoenix is the one. Um, and I think general just looks like working on the the feeling of pressure, playing more long sets, um, and just being able to deal with like the Chris Jitters, like dealing with dealing with like the little mm -hmm. bits of like you choking a little bit adjusting your gameplay and trying to just like you know like 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 snap yourself in so that you are a bit more focused and a bit more um composed in the moment um those those are like my general thoughts about it because uh, I, I did feel like i was putting a lot of pressure on it. it's kind of like a lot of my decisions were heavy rushdown style um and aggressive mm -hmm. because i wanted to make inkler feel that pressure but what about yourself? Uh, what, what sort of takeaways okay. like, are your keys? So, like, I think the takeaway, like, the observations are the same. But me as a person, I handle growth, stress, and challenge in, in the opposite way that a lot of people tend to handle it from what I've learned. Mm -hmm. So, like... I, when I play a long set, I will not, I refuse to let my body dysregulate. I, and this is why I don't like tournament play. It can be 
the most important mix up of my lifetime. I need to go for this thing. I need to do something freaky. I need to do something crazy in that last moment. I won't. I'll go for one attempt and back off. Like I'm not going to get pressured. Mm -hmm. I'm very rarely nervous. And especially if it's a long set, I decide in the beginning, when we say we're going to play a first to 25, I decide after the first five matches, am I trying to win the set or am I just trying to play better than my opponent? Because those two things don't always equate in this game. And then also, if I'm playing against somebody who I consider reliable as like I can actually judge my skill against you and I can learn stuff against you, learning immediately takes precedent over winning. Yeah. I have rarely, I rarely ever try to win a set unless I, again, I'm, I'm letting y'all see behind the curtain. If I want to win a set, it means I don't respect you. Ooh. It means I don't think you're good enough to beat me. Ooh. And I'm like, okay, well, I should win this set. If I'm playing against somebody who I feel like is on par or is better than me, I'm in analytics mode and I'm like, okay, let's see. I don't care how to set in. I just want to learn what I'm trying to learn. And so in the first three to five games, I will come in, especially if I know your character. So, like, let's say I know you're going to play Wolverine. Yeah. I know that what I need to do is manage my mag blast at normal jump height, call rocks really well, and when I go to the air at super jump height, I need to get to the ground. Yeah. And so I could lose the set, but if I did that, every time or the majority of the time or whatever i've already won in my mind mm. and so like i decide my criteria for winning before we start playing and it is very rarely beating you to the number yeah and so my advice would be the next set the next long set short set whatever inkla plays pick the two to three things that if you do this 80% of the time, you in your mind won the set. Oh. And that way, like you're only ever competing with the past version of yourself. Yeah. And once you beat the past version of yourself enough times, it will start to progress you past the, ver the present versions of other people. Yeah. Who are not as focused as you. This is and so like when people say my neutral is crazy, when people talk about my incomings, when people talk about my decision making, I picked sets where I said I win this set if I make these decisions right. Mm. I win this set if I don't wrap it slash with Virgil. When I first started playing Virgil, I would X factor at the beginning of the game, so I would not have X factor. And so that's why my Virgil is what it is. I mm. did not want X Factor Virgil. I learned X Factor Virgil last. And so I decided if I win these games with no Virgil comeback, I won the set. I don't well, care what the score is. That's cheap. And so like, wh why? <laughs> what, a, what a cheap thing to do. Play my Virgil with no X. What do you mean you learned to play Virgil? What the hell's that? Nobody I'm else does that. You. Hey, I know they don't. That's why can't nobody be my Virgil. Oh, <laughs> but what you're talking about here, to me, sounds like like it's you are playing that meta game with yourself, where outside of what's on the screen, outside of the player versus player matchup, you've shifted the paradigm of Marvel into a completely different form, and it removes you from the the like that granular sort of view that I tend to go in with. Um, mm. Like it puts you in a, a different mindset entirely because I have, I, the, the, I've never really gone at it that way because my, my view is that I am playing to win tournament casuals. Mm. Like learning is a thing that I want to do as well as a byproduct, mm -hmm. um, but I'm playing to dominate and I'm playing like, not, not like, Oh, I must win this set. I, I'm playing for fun at the same time, but generally speaking, anything that I do, I, I enter tournaments and I want to win them. Uh, and I'm mm -hmm. playing it with that mindset of I go in to win. So I'm not thinking of another paradigm like you are. 
in a lot of the things that you do because you're playing less tournaments and you're, you're there to, to you know, uh, play for other reasons. So my paradigm's already yeah. set. And within that, then, I go into a set like this with a game plan in mind for what I'm doing versus the team of Inkler and the player of Inkler. Uh, so I'm going in thinking he's a young gun and I want to I want to crush him in terms of putting a ton of pressure on him, making him have to make quick decisions. And it's why you mm. see me over and over again. You've hard tagged. I'm going to snap you within two button presses of hitting you. Mm. So your Phoenix is coming straight back in. You're going to have to think fast because that's what you have to do against me. You have to play fast. You have to think fast or get good enough so that you can slow it down. And once <laughs> once you yeah. arrive at that point, I've then got to fight you on your terms a bit more. That's when you start to see some huge growth as a player. Um, not that I really like I'm trying to make you grow because I still again I want to dominate you until you you earn that yourself. Until you right. Like yeah. I'm I'm not your yeah. sensei. You have to learn this stuff yourself. I'm not I'm this isn't a dojo. I'm gonna put on a class, but and you can learn if you want, but <laughs> like like I, I'm I'm gonna do my stuff until you tr prove to me I can't do my stuff anymore and then I'm gonna have to learn more uh to, to deal with what you're putting out there. So it's 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 the game plan versus the team, game plan versus the player, and then you know I've got a repertoire of different ideas beyond that. But if you show me something new, I am I am eating good if you are putting me into a, a new position. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you I love that approach that you have to these different sets where I'm I've won if I have met my conditions. Whereas yep. I'm very much I've won if I've hit that twenty five four. Like that that's yeah. yeah. If I hit if I beat you 25, 25 24, like I'm I'm happy. Like I've I've just won a set that was really <laughs> close and hopefully I've I've yeah. ingrained some new things into the the cause like I say, I'm I'm, I'm brainless. Like I, I will I will <laughs> I, I I press the buttons until the buttons do it for me. And then I, like my whole thing is that my mental stack is completely like like diminished. Like in terms of what's actually in there, my mental stack might be five, six, seven, eight layers of possible things in my mm -hmm. head, but my actual gameplay is just one layer. Like my actual gameplay and maybe some additional thoughts bring me up to two layers, but then I've got three, four, five, six, seven to think about what you're doing on the screen, and just everything else takes takes control of itself. Um, whereas, mm. like I, yeah. I, I'm not a deep thinker that way in the moment. Um, mm -hmm. I make very simple thoughts, which I suppose is similar to what you were saying before, um, where you were talking about, I will, or you will, um, choose to interact in the places you want to interact. I have that same thought, but from the perspective of he's going to do this, this is my read, and this is the confidence I have about it because this I'm just instinct like that is that is what's going to happen and I'm going to hit that and if I don't this is my backup it's coming straight after uh and then I think part of that's like I'm a, I've got very rushed down characters and maybe if I'd learned different characters to begin with I would have developed a, in a different direction more um but it's hard for me to explain but I, hopefully you understand my meaning there yeah, I do. I do. And I th I think this is what I what I love about Marvel and I think what a lot of people love about Marvel why this game is so beloved whether you're a watcher or you play competitive or you're casual and I don't think a lot of people know this about why they're drawn to this game, but I think the beauty of this game is that you're playing yourself. People pick the teams and the characters that represent them, just like you would do in League of Legends, just like you would do in other games. Like your team represents what you just said. Mm. If you are showing up to whoop somebody's ass, there is no X man who shows up to whoop ass more than Logan. There is not one. And so, like, it's actually Sparty on bone wonderland mm. and that's why those people are the people who picked themselves who picked the team that represents them those are the people who love this game and 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 will oh say they owe everything to this game mm -hmm. because they get to be themselves on screen it is such a deep, and those are the people who love their character yeah, you know deep and pure level of expression uh that 
allows you, like you say, you have, it's not you've picked a character and you play them. It is your representation in game of your play style. Mm -hmm. And it's why we have players who will play Phoenix Wright until they die. Like Aeonian yeah. is is a Phoenix Wright player, and that is his expression of how he likes to play the game. Uh, and it's like it, it, I I sort of felt trapped by this team, uh, and I couldn't move away from it. And I've had so much trouble Ooh. moving away from it because I, I learned so much about the game through this team that learning other characters felt like I was learning the game from scratch again. Learning Magneto in particular felt like I was learning the game from scratch. I had nothing that that translated to him. I had that's where mm. I, that's where I really started developing like option selects and uh, like the throw game and all of that other stuff through Magneto because I had no choice but to learn whatever I could and just developing tech was one of the best ways to do it. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is why you know I've released so many like tech tutorials. Not that you knew. I've released so many tech tutorials on the channel. No how idea. to how to <laughs> blink dash option select with a throw and a push block. Like how to option select uh, throws in general. Um, like how to set up mix ups in train. Like all this stuff I've put on there is just through like having to like develop my game further because I wasn't playing Zero Morrigan and Virgil. I had to learn to outplay people in different ways like and it is that expression of myself and my grit and my determination which sort of then makes wolverine and iron fist a thing and you know it's like like hulk and hagar make top six again at evo Man. because kbr uh -huh. expresses himself brutally in his in his yeah. gameplay through those three characters with horrific synergy uh that that explode onto the screen and fighting against like the elegance i'd say i'd say elegance of like jabril's play with his zero and how like manicured it is like that that team has had a mani pedi like that <laughs> that that team is beautiful the way he plays it, it, it it's it's it, his long but beautiful he, hair is he, on the screen about, right i was gonna say are you talking about kbr or jabril and like you know me and jabril are pretty good friends and like one of the one of Jabril's defining qualities of himself is that he is a pragmatist. Mm -hmm. And there is no team more pragmatic than Zero May Cry. It only is showing up to fuck you up on every hand and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, if the goal is to win, there is no team with, a, with a, that being more of their goal. Mm -hmm. And so, like, it makes, and he plays it practically. Like, the, and that's what makes him the star that he is. He plays such a wild team with ruthless pragmatism. Yep. And nobody else can do it mm -hmm. because he's playing himself. Oh, it is, it is, yeah, it's special. It's special watching him. Yeah. Beautiful. It is. I think that's a good point to, uh, to wrap this up. Cool beans, man. Nice That's little fun. place there. Uh, so I've been uh, I've been Spartan throwing this Remy mine with me this evening. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure just walking through this and just getting to talk to you has been uh, yeah lovely for me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it too. I have. <laughs> just F <laughs> FYI, I don't do things with people I don't like. So <laughs> yes, I did enjoy it. Well, I never had any doubt in my mind that the the you know me and you are boyfriends. Like like this this thing is yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah big, big sexual energy. Jesus, hold oh, it. Yeah. Um, Inkla, uh, I am a boomer. I can't stand Discord. But my proverbial DMs are open. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably best on Twitch or Twitter. But my Twitter is also private, so probably best on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch, you're gonna catch him on that, Jesus. Oh, speaking yeah, of Jabril, you catch me on Twitch. Jabril's in a uh, Ray Ray's uh, Ray Ray's channel right now. So let's raid Ray Ray just to finish this evening off. Uh, where am I, Ray is Ray? He, is he in New York? Uh, no, 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 he's just in the chat. He's in the chat. Ah, okay. Beautiful. All right, we're going to raid Ray in just a moment, but it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much, Remy, for joining me with this and helping out with your Thanks insight. Thanks for having me. Uh, really great. appreciate it. It's a good time. It's, it's been great. All right, friend. 
That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you guys have been watching this uh, intently and you're still listening, I know some, some of you guys like to get this stuff on in the background. It's a good listen sometimes. Uh, appreciate it if you uh, let YouTube know that that stuff's good for you. Subscribe, like it, comment. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to jump in with those. Like I say, I love to read them. I love to think about them and come back and try and help you. That's that. It, make, it makes my day a little bit. If there's a couple of questions coming through, I'm happy on the YouTubes. Uh, but other than that, it's been a pleasure. Have a good evening and I'll catch you guys soon for the next next whatever it is that I do. Let me know what you want me to do. Ray, uh, it's not Ray Ray. Uh, we're going to raid Ray Ray, but uh, any closing remarks, Remy? Um, I appreciate the compliments in the chat. Um, I really love talking about Marvel for people who are serious with it. And so like, I'm glad y'all enjoy it. Um, and maybe we'll do some more of this. Like, I have no problem doing this if a mag doom is on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you enjoy more than downplaying those two. Yeah. Right, let's do it. Paris, We're going to raid. Paris, pop to your team, man. It's been a pleasure. Right. Your mama. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks very much. And thank you, Remy. See you guys soon.